forever and replacing ever and him ever with and Jack ever. Black. And ever and ever. 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 Could you guys imagine Not playing D and D with Jack Black? Black? I'd love to. <laughs> There's just one last thing. General. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, uh, last time on a uh, tomb of of strad annihilators. Of strad annihilators. Hello. We got it. Um, oh, hey, Nick's back. You... Look at the timing. Oh, well, welcome back. <laughs> I rolled him into being. <laughs> you all had uh, entered into the uh, a nearby cave in an attempt to see if there was anything notable in there, and indeed, you came across a. Uh, absolutely massive black pudding ooze. As you fought it, it kept on splitting over and over again as your exit behind you was blocked off by an absolutely enormous gelatinous cube. Although the situation got a little bit dire, Buckbeak was able to nobly fly over the black pudding, reaching into the tunnels and managing to escape while two of the others used dimension door to reach over to the entrance. From there, a combination of paralysis and telekinesis managed to force the gelatinous cube to vacuum up all of the black pudding and removing it all from combat. Then, after that, the party picked up a few very sweet magical items and continued on their journey over to the uh, spot on the map marked by Fort Valorian, where they had <clears throat> indicated finding uh, something notable over there, especially related to the fro frog hemoth cube that you had all picked up a couple of sessions ago. On your way over, however, three particularly angry King Kongs attacked, and after a very high amount of damage and one giant ape that basically killed over and died because it just failed at life, you all managed to succeed at <clears throat> defeating them and are continuing on your journey. Oh, my fair part where it all loads in one thing at a time. Yeah. <laughs> it fills it in. Ah, so satisfying every time. I believe this was the most amount of distance you were able to cover before you like had a long rest. Uh, really. yeah, that sounds right. I think that's right. Yeah. So, I think we had um, that combat close tonight, so. So we're having a yeah. long short rest here. Yeah, your long short rest it commences. Nice, big. Okay, cool. You um uh, get the, only the benefits of a short rest, and not uh, all the benefits of a long rest, as you. Wake up from the night. Four charges of paralysis return. Hey, Fenvol. Hmm? How are you doing on spell slots? Uh, fairly good. Why? I might need to, uh, at some point during this trip, take that pearl of power. <laughs> oh, do you want it right now? I mean, I don't. No, I, don't I mean, need you, I think point. you need, I think you need this. <laughs> you're missing level three spell slots, actually, aren't you? No, I'm missing no spell slots right now, except for my fourth one, which I can't get back with it. Oh, wait, you have your third spell, spell slots back, really? Yeah, we traveled quite a bit last time. Okay. Um, yeah, Aqua, how, I wanted to ask you, um, mm -hmm. how would attuning items work on a long rest? So because the Pearl Power can be used once per dawn, um, is it like possible to attune to it at, um, like at the beginning of a long rest and then unattune to it later? Uh, yeah, there's something that would stop that. So, okay, so yeah, like, back. Um, like attune to it when you start to go to bed and then attune to the other item when you wake up or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would only take, like, an hour or two more prep in the morning, which is very feasible to do um, uh, okay. with, like, a little bit of shuffling. So, yeah, you attune to the Pearl of Power, unattune to something else, activate it, unattune to it over the next um, uh, hour <laughs> okay. by attuning to a different thing. Okay. Let me, make, let me double check one thing on that, which is I believe <laughs> you can willingly unattune anyway, but I'm just double checking on the rules. Just to be absolutely sure. Make your own rules. If I do, I will place them inside the big document of my own. So yeah, we're like halfway there already. <laughs> One day Aqua's just gonna ping us at D and D. Hey guys, I rewrote the player's handbook for Five E. So <laughs> study up. <laughs> yeah, like, the, the, okay. this is easy enough to do. The attunement ends if another creature attunes to the item, so it's easy enough for Kion. You just attune to the pearl power. Which forces Fenville to unattune to it. <laughs> you just give it back to Fenville, who attunes, and then you reattune to your previous confusion. item. Okay, fantastic. 
basically a uh, little bit of swapping around, but you are able to recover a spell slot. Yeah, because I was worried about, since I had already used all of my level 2 spell slots, that I would be um, in a dangerous scenario the next time we got attacked by large gelatinous beings. You know? Well, if we find ourselves in another corner, I don't have a get out of jail free. <laughs> yeah. I have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> Sorry, what? I saw the vine and... <laughs> Did you find the video? Yeah, have you not seen it? Hold on. Before I start. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm being harassed by dice. Here, Are you? I'll, put, I'll put it in um campaign. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, so? Um, uh, you continue on, and as you get uh, about past midday, you're walking along, moving down a watery-ish area, just like a small little creek. You're just kind of trudging along in the water nearby, but you begin to hear hissing sounds from all around. We believe you are now in danger, and you may roll for initiative. Straight up, in the jungle. Uh, where are we on this map? Um, you were like around the center area. You can position however you think you might have been as you were crossing from top to bottom. <laughs> He's in the water. In the He's river. taking a swim. It, it's not oh, wait, deep, how, mind how you. Deep is it? Okay, so we can just walk around. It's not okay. deep. Yeah. It's like two feet we're deep at best, right? Across. It's like, it's like uncomfortable to walk through, but it's not oh. difficult to right? I'm surely okay, well, in the river. All right. Well, I'm although going maybe to... I should have made a difficult range too. <laughs> Well, I mean, you always be like, and now there's rapids. <laughs> oh fuck! It's difficult terrain now. Oh, no. Wait, what? I was clicking on my character, and the initiative roll did not go through. No, and it the second one was worse. So yeah, yeah, you it. that's right. Punished. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Sometimes to give it, sorry. sometimes to take it away. Before and the in the long rest, I'll spend the hit dice. Sorry, I. Do we yep, have the bardic it. thing or? Yeah, 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 yeah one d six. Okay, it's 10. 49 uh, out of 52. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you guys got whomped by tree trunks or whatever it was. Or rocks. <laughs> Mark and I were just chilling in both fights. <laughs> well, I wasn't chilling, but my uh, mirror images were. <laughs> mirror image, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, saved, you, what did, you got all three of them hit, right? Just two. But, oh, just two? But regardless, you know, one of those hits could have just knocked me out. Fucking pasted me against the floor. I'm done. All right. So, um, oh, we we're missing one initiative, right? No. Wait, it is just. Wait, no, we are missing. Yeah, Rose. Probably just didn't I, literally, I do not understand. Okay. Yeah. You put it. I don't think you ever uh wrote for initiative. I don't even actually. see it. Yeah. 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 It, it never even happened. Appeared in the chat. Okay, low initiative roll, buddies. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Why are you saying let's go? You have a 26. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just He's just mocking them from the top. Really let's is. go. Yeah, you okay. guys can do it. Crashing out from the foliage nearby is this creature. Aqua, can I ask why there's a very tiny uh, icon of a creature right there? What is that? What is that, actually? What is it? Oh, it's an ape. <laughs> <laughs> what was that doing Monkey. there? Uh, sorry, <laughs> I let I let I left my ape down there. My bad. <laughs> I saw it. I was like, "What is?" That? Oh shit! There's a man. <laughs> is that us? Is that... <laughs> That's us. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and yeah, as it crashes, that's another MTG it... Hydra. <laughs> yep, it is. You know, this there are a surprising weird. number of Why cards from MTG inside of the bestiary. Yeah. You know. That doesn't, I mean, I'm not, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. I'm just trying to see, find which one it was. It looks familiar, I just can't remember which one it is. You, you want me to tell you, or you I'm want gonna to guess it out? Oh, no, well, I found the card, but I found I it the guess? Russian version, so I can't read it. Can I guess? Wow. Yes, and as the as the, the uh, creature, this Hydra appears, so too bursting out RD2 nearby. Oh, what the fuck? There's... How do we always manage to get ourselves entirely surrounded? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the Hydra from Among Ket, though. I just, it means I can't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure it's from... from uh, that's correct. Ket. It is the Among Ket Hydra. That is actually its full name. 
Oh, which you okay. can see actually below its initiative roll. It says it. I hope it doesn't have the mummify ability. <laughs> when it dies, it comes back as a zombie. <laughs> Alright, Ama, Azel, Tychus, and uh, Fenville, all three of you get to move first. You were slightly more prepared for this. Oh, before uh, we begin, uh, Azel, were you going to roll any hit dice, or are you going to uh, stay at I rolled one. Seven? Oh, okay. Uh, if you roll a hit dice, you also can add a deep to that. Oh, that's okay. right. Let's add that. Uh, and your refreshment roll 20 real quick. It's kind of frozen on something. Oh, shit, there's three of them. I thought there were two. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Now I'm not, yeah, I'm not even uh, going to like keep this information secret or anything. Uh, who has nature proficiency? Has what? Nature proficiency. Nature proficiency. Oh, the ranger doesn't. I don't think any of us do. <laughs> All right. Well, Zell, you're helping out your team. Um, uh, you are aware that hydras can regenerate and that fire stops your regeneration. <coughs> that makes sense. Well, we don't have any fire unless aqua. Oh my God! Shut up. No, they're not made out of metal, Jake. Are they oh. made out of metal? <laughs> what do you mean? Every we time. <laughs> Someday they will be. <laughs> oh my lord. I'd rather not fight a metal hydra, thank you very much. I would, I could heat it up. <laughs> An egg on it. Dude, the final boss of this campaign, he's gonna have like a like a coin embedded in his forehead. And this is gonna be like <laughs> Christmas. He'll be forced to It'll drop finally it be useful. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, okay. So, first, I think. Yep. Smack him upside the head. Yeah. I'm going to move over here. And I will <clears throat> stab him with my lance uh, with Faded Glory. Let me get the weapon master. Come on. Uh. Do you want to use Fated Glory? Because we have not had a long rest, so you can't use the passive. We did have a long rest. It was a short long rest, though. I don't, unless that counts. I, I well, might be the case that the item... It doesn't restore it on a long rest. It, it, right? long rest. it restores at dawn. So. Oh, okay. I thought it was a long rest. Yeah. Magic items. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, does, is 16 a hit, or is that a miss? Um, you notice it does connect, and you deduce pretty okay. fast this okay. thing's AC is 15. Just barely. Uh, I'm not gonna bother damage. rolling. I don't think I can make that. Work. No, you can't make that. You need a 24. Uh, I don't think you can get that. Well, I think I got a 20. Right, no, 20 22. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's I can't true. Get that. I have, I you have could, one. you could re-roll the d12 actually. No. <sighs> well, I didn't get it anyways. It was close, but no luck. Anyway. Well, no, I was saying yeah, you, you could have rolled the re-roll the d12 with piercer. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't hit though. Oh, tragic. Oh, just barely not enough. You cut into one of its heads a little bit. Buckbeak, your turn. Uh, claws. Oh, come yeah. on, Buckbeak. Oh, there all right. Oh, he's making up for it. Buckbeak heard you talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Buckbeak going for it. As Buckbeak uh, um, uh, digs in, they completely slice off one of the Hydra's heads. Although it's probably not going to go through, I guess Buckbeak's Trampling Charge will activate, and so it has to make a DC 14 strength saving throw. <laughs> I like how we have a, a marker for the amount I of heads it. they have. No, uh, strength like, surely right? that's the marker for something else. Yeah, DC 14 strength. Yeah, I mean, Jake. that's to be expected. Hello. So, I, re re I found a video, but I honestly don't remember what the context was, so... <laughs> Here it is. I've seen what? that. <laughs> like, go next. That's a good one, though. I do love it. Fenville and Azel. Hmm. Well, I'm not planning on paralyzing <laughs> anything just yet. I'm going to use one of my initiate spells, so if you want to go, go for it. Well, we just suit it and see what happens. Good man. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you remember your face spider bow does have an interesting property involving when you miss with it? Right, uh, the face spider bow connects onto the uh, hydrant. Shit, oh. plus 10, goddamn. That is a max hit. Wow, okay. 15 damage onto the same hydra, I'm guessing. It takes another 15. Yep, that one. Okay. I 
Oh, wait, right. do you have a bonus action, movement, any of wow, that, that good stuff? That phase uh, rush ability on the spider bow is sick. Hey, let me read the phase spider bow again. Uh... <gasps> what are you up to, Fenville? <coughs> oh, it's so cool. Uh, well, I am going to start. Uh, it's not. Is it difficult terrain in the water or no, Aqua? No, no I decided. I'm gonna move over here where it seems safer and there's not two hydras looking at me and telling me I'm cute because I don't swing that way but uh, I am going to oh wait I want to put my where are the where are the AOE tokens <clears throat> grab a nice 10 foot radius token and uh Wait, that doesn't seem right. Moonbeam's not 10 feet foot radius, it's like a 10 foot Oh no, now Finvolt has the ball bearings. But, I'm casting a Moonbeam uh, on this guy. Alright, Moonbeam goes down. Um, Hello. Do you wanna... Do, do you have Firebolt? Do I have Firebolt? Yeah. Firebolt? No, I don't have Firebolt. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, if you had Firebolt, maybe cast that, just so he doesn't regenerate. My only damaging cantrip is actually Vicious Mockery. Oh, nice. Because yeah, I don't think it's worth casting Firebolt just yet. We'll see how uh, how badly we get fucked up on their first turn, and then we'll decide yeah. if we <laughs> if we need to panic Fireball. Yes. Yeah. All right, Aqua. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it the way I've been doing it because it doesn't look like we have a five foot radius one. Zaka, you might want to consider moving away from the Hydra, Ooh. like to your Ooh. right. There is the maybe. Movie. Put it right in the middle. Uh, oh, right. And right on. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's it. I'm gonna... I'll save my Bardic Inspirations to try to stop people from getting hit. That's right. it for me. It's a con save, right, for Moonbeam? Yeah, Constitution. Oh, Bailey taking the full damage. 12. A solid <laughs> 12 goes down and... One of its heads, it's just barely holding on to its body. But at the beginning of the turn, what you see happen is that head that was injured fully couldn't snaps back to connect onto itself. And two more heads grow from where the previous one was that had been cut off entirely. This Hydra now has six heads. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus Christ. It will proceed to bite six times. Three of them onto Tychus and three of them onto uh, Bugbeak. So we'll handle the uh, ones that can't be redirected first, which is on you, Tychus. Did you actually okay. just say six? Oh my god, they have plus eight to their attack. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to cutting words the twenty four. All right, go for it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's enough. And uh, are you redirecting the Bugbeak ones? Um, no, I'll just they have disadvantage. So I'll leave mm -hmm. that hand. We like disadvantage. Let's go. I like love disadvantage. disadvantage. <laughs> well, I don't like having disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, for uh, slittering out from over here, and this one will move forward and direct three to its left and two to its top. So, three of these going down onto you, Kion. Remember they are at disadvantage as well. Oh, it's true. Let me re-roll re -roll that 16, since it would uh, potentially misses. And it does not. Uh, that's a 16 and a 21. I'm not even rolling um, for 14. Well, they can't even hit anymore. <laughs> um, I'm going to try second chancing that. Okay, so that's a one more roll? Yeah, yeah so yeah, you, you re-rolled the 16, 21, but you re-rolled both of them. I, I think you re-rolled uh, again at disadvantage, right? Yeah. yeah, that's true. And it's a 9, so it just misses all three attacks on you. Oh, a 9 oh and a 28. <laughs> okay, well, I'm very glad that that... Monk class. <laughs> and, and then on to Azel, uh, two hits going toward you. A 21 and a 26 yeah, do both hit. Oh, Fuck the ranger in particular. Yeah, don't do too much damage, though. 31? I don't know. That's uh, close, actually. He's living. <laughs> just <laughs> barely holding on. Just He's barely living. holding on, Izzo. Oh my lord. 
All right, um, and that's it for the turns. This is all your moves. Okay, all right, so I'll... what's the plan? <laughs> I will go over wow. here and attack this one at regular. Give him some bonks. Oh, almost. Okay, um, I will spend the key points to make it uh, hit. Right. And so it does. It's like a good ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, it just gives it a plus two for every key point that yeah, I spend. Yeah, yeah. So after fun. that hits, now it is uh, crushed. And mm. I will yeah. furry up bliss with flaming fist. Oh, all right. On that strike, on that strike. But when I'm connecting, roll the damage for all three of those hits. You didn't roll the um, uh, or yeah. two-handed on that strike. Which Sorry, did not have that one is without fire, yeah. The yep. third one is without fire. 41 damage goes down, one of its head is completely obliterated, mm -hmm. and you see that the stump that it's on is currently not regrowing. Okay, and um, I'm gonna spend a, another key point to take a bonus. No, can I? To to dodge? Uh, you cannot. If your bonus action was used for your boys already. Don't forget your extra attack, though, Rose, from being level 5. Oh, yeah. That's true. I forgot about that. Okay, uh, I'll attack it again. Are you using the fire buff? No. <laughs> Sorry, I only will use it on my unarmed strikes, basically. When I just, uh... Boink this. And uh, this one misses. <laughs> I will not spend a key point for that. <laughs> <clears throat> this fella has lost one of its heads and is currently uh, seared onto where that stump was. Wait, um, I have a question. C sorry, mm -hmm. Mark. Can I. Second attack only can be like an regular attack right it can't be like a cantrip or something correct yeah okay. unless it specifically says otherwise okay just just uh clarifying because those are technically attacks too so that's why i was like confused anyway continue um i'm gonna disengage from this boy here and go over here and then i'm going to use um what's it called uh, Scorching Ray, and I am... Okay, uh, Aqua, I have, I have a question. When you said fire stops them regenerating, does the attack that deals fire damage, does it seem like that needs to be the one that cuts off their head, or just if they've been, you know, taking fire? Like, I... I'm not quite sure how, how that works. You see that from the initial impact from where uh, Saga hit the fire, just traveled up its body towards the stump, regardless of when it was hit. Okay. Um, in that case... I'll actually wait until you guys do your attacks because I'm gonna I'm gonna use searing, uh, scorching right at the end, and I want to try and hit as many heads as possible with that. The I one like next to stones. me has crusher. Uh, so um, yeah. Really quick, uh, I forgot completely, like I always do when we start uh, another session. But you actually didn't need to use cutting words there because it already had minus two. From, oh no, pierce! It's with piercer, it still would have hit anyways. It still had twenty two. Never mind. We're good. Thank you. Huge clutch. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my talk. <laughs> sure. I'll go. Why not? Okay. I'm just gonna start by, uh... Who should I try to paralyze? Oh god, here we go again. So the archer, See, probably. This one has six heads. But, I mean, like, it's trying to hit Nick, so, like, we can leave it there. This one has five heads. But it, it could go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Five head? This, this. I think I'll probably head. go for him. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll wand try to wand to paralysis him, so he has to make a DC 15 con save. So he Takes it. Him. He's fine. He's fine. It's just tough times out here. Yeah. And, uh, now I have to use a bonus action in order You're to gonna make, bonk. in order to make a big, a big F play. Oh, the, F stand, the F stands for Fenval, and also it's my oh. spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. I thought we were saying F to the ranger who is currently surrounded by two hydras. Oh, I'm fine. See, that's, the, that's the best part. It, it works both ways. 
Ah, I could. Well, he's I can push your push you. I could move ah. over to try and help defend you guys, or I could just keep fighting this one. I think we you should deal with the go. one it's that's the most in the way. It's hooked into him, look at it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> always. These four things are always so close. Well, that one was crushers, crushers, does because it was crushers, yeah. Oh, you're right. It does actually still connect anyway. Wow. Crusher is OP, bro. We like yeah, Crusher. Yeah, really is nuts. <laughs> Asalka's like, wait, friends, why are you all running away from me? <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm, uh, so I've added a, uh, charge counter for your face spider bow on your sheet. You'll see it on the right side. Uh, there it is. Mark, have you already gone? Or no, sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting to try and deal some fire damage at the end of the round to, uh, everything we've okay. hit. Can, Can I you use... push me with your hands? No, I disengage so I with my bonus action, so I didn't get hit. Can oh, okay. I disengage and leave? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can use an action to disengage. There we go. <laughs> use my active and my bonus actions. Get out of here. <laughs> Do you have any bonus actions you can use, Azalka? No. Let me oh. bonus action. Are you sure you don't have any bonus actions? Yeah, I don't know what spells you have, so. Ah. Most spells aren't bonus actions, anyways, though. So. Yeah, most yeah. of them aren't, but. Is the, the ranger's mark not a bonus action? You might be able to use that. Ranger's mark. Oh yeah. So you do have bonus actions. Okay, yeah, I will use them. it on that one. All right, getting your revenge. <laughs> Three dots. <laughs> I actually use this symbol to make that currently fire. Or hmm. actually, on this fire? is a much better symbol. There we go. Wait, so if we do damage, one, like fire damage once per turn, does that mean it will not regen until the That's end of the turn? That's what it seems turn? like, yeah. I have fire bolts, you know, as a last resort. <laughs> I also really don't want to be here, so... <laughs> Really quick, if I move here, um, can I hit both monsters? 10, 10? Yeah, I can stab both of them, right? From here? Well, yeah, you, you can. Be, you can, because technically when you're mounted on a large creature like that, you are effectively... Yeah. Right. Okay. You occupy okay. the space of your mount, basically. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I do have to take an opportunity attack, though, I think, to move here from the one at top. Still in its range, right? I don't know. You were still in its reach. Yeah. Oh god, it's oh. also got 10 foot right to reach. <laughs> I guess I'm not surprised, but okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's actually convenient because you don't take it over to the attack. You're not leaving its reach. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, I will. Okay, I will use my first action to stab the one on the top. Um. Faded glory. Rip. <sighs> I have the text 10. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna use my second one and just stab at the one don't, on the bottom. Don't forget you have the Clockwork Amulet as well. That's true. In fact, yeah, I'm actually gonna use that to just get a 10 on this attack roll. Which makes me have a 16 on my hit, which is a hit. Alright, so connects on to uh, the south, southern one, right? Yeah, I still have to roll to get the damage roll. Oh, it would hit. Mm -hmm. but anyway. Still. 13 damage. Okay, I'll take that, and I will make my DC 17 persuasion check, and I will fail nope. because I rolled a fucking two. <laughs> anyway, though, um, on the one on the bottom, I'm gonna put one of my unwavering mark uh, marks on it. So that's just getting marked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it only has three heads remaining. Okay. Your Hot land stabbed off another. Like a uh -huh. shish kebab. I, I think a Buckbeak can attack then if you're there. No, but that's fine. Um, Aqua, uh, does mm -hmm. this one still have any like stumps or no? No, it got completely regenerated. Uh, the damage on one partially severed head and then grew two heads in a place of its previous. Okay, and then this one is currently on fire. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, in that case. 
Uh, let me see. I could try casting Grease, actually. It sounds lit. Literally and figuratively, actually. So, if this one's on fire, would casting Grease be able to light it, or no? I guess I still have my uh, an item interaction, but I don't know Grease if you were carrying torches at the time. How you want to deal with I that? I mean, I presume you were. Like, you were always, you're always prepared to fight <laughs> right, when okay. going through the jungle. <laughs> Alright, let's try that. I'm going to try and cast Grease. Right um, here. Grease, the fire made with a torch on Grease is not magical fire, correct? The uh, torch fire is not magical. The Grease fire makes it magical once it starts lighting up. Okay. Okay, so it has to make a DC 14 con or a dex save. Alright, the monk at Hydra makes its save and fails as it falls Holy prone shit. onto uh, the Grease, adding yet another token marker onto it. <laughs> I wish I had I wish I had a mark different because now my work my my mark was basically pointless. <laughs> I don't know what your mark does, so uh it makes it so that I think it only focuses tigers. Well oh, it's okay. it, it's not that it focuses me so much that if it goes for somebody other than me I get to attack it for free. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um and then it takes I believe two uh what is the damage on Grease Aqua? I let me don't go. actually add the grease token. Oh, you did okay. <laughs> I believe it's one d eight. Yeah, it's one d eight. Okay. So, um, uh, you this is our first time you're getting to pull off this maneuver, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, this entire time you've been walking through the jungle, you've kept one of your telekinetic hands of a torch very close over to you. <laughs> So reaching over to the, uh, the uh, telekinetic force that's been holding the torch, you just quickly nab it and then throw it onto the grease. And also it's about to get uh, doused by the water on the ground. Just a light spark touches the grease, lighting it on fire and causing the hydra to take. Uh, yeah, uh, three fire. Yeah, we'll go yeah. three. It's currently prone inside of the uh, grease. Does it, um, take fire damage every turn? Uh, yes. Yeah, so if it starts its turn prone, um, and each time it falls prone, it's 1d8. So on the start of uh, its turn, it'll take another 1d8. And that's all I think I can do since I disengage. Well, you can't spend the key point to disengage, loser. <laughs> okay, you, 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 you oh. lit it on fire and then it fell prone, took the 1d8 damage, and then starting prone in the area until it'll take another 1d8 damage. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let me roll another 1d8. Whew, another 7 damage goes on to it. It's uh, first just making sure everybody's done with their actions and everything. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I am at least. Uh, this Hydra, the one that's not having a good time right now, is going to stand up from being prone after... Uh, taking the damage, it kind of douses one of its stumps into water, and then it removes all the fire that's afflicting it at the moment, but it does not regrow anything. For, for this yep. one as well. mm -hmm. Just waiting for him to say it. that one moves or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll get we'll get over to that one right in, right after. Yeah, uh, I just saw the purple circle. This poor unfortunate fool here. <laughs> <laughs> it does move out of the grease for the meantime, and will attempt to go for its bites, but with only three attacks, and with the unwavering mark, these will... Uh, Oh, that's 23, though. Uh, second chance it. Alright, second chance. It attempts once more. As you... Still get hit. Do not the fuck it. Fuck! Well, uh, you take uh, seven. I'll, I'll, cutting, yeah. I'll cutting words it. Okay, Jake. Let's just... <laughs> Love you, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the 17 is not enough. Try one. <laughs> Reality itself and luck is just manipulated around its attempt to bite you. It just fails. Thank you, thank you. Turns out it was going after Wait, her which, after image the whole did time. Did this one attack you, Rose? Uh, one that yeah, I I did. that's what was it was. Hell yeah, dude. On my next turn, I can make a bonus attack against it with advantage. Nice. It attacks me three times. I only get one of those. Speaking <laughs> of attacks against you, um, uh, mm, this, yeah. this five headed Hydra is going. It's going to throw three onto you and two onto both feet. Okay. First onto you. 
Ah, one hit. You take a hit for 16 damage and uh, the two on Buckbeak, which will be at disadvantage. Yeah. So, uh, but they deal poison damage, but they do not apply the poison effect, is that? Correct. Okay. I just kind of figured all poison damage applied to poison. Right? You would think that. You would think so. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's only, a, like, out of all the poison spells in the game, for example, only a single one applies to poison condition. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Weird. And it's a first level spell. It's weird. Oh, wow. wow. Alright, the Amunk at Hydra goes ahead and makes its constitution save against the Moonbeam. Failing and taking the full damage. <laughs> oh, actually good. I was gonna Oh choke. man. Wow, eight, nine, eight, that was really nine. good. Solid damage. It will uh, move down to about here. Uh -oh. <laughs> and start God. lashing out with two attacks onto everybody within a range, kind of distributing it. Two onto Yukion, at disadvantage. Missing. Okay, two go. onto a, onto a Zell. Uh, hmm. The first one connects, knocking you down to zero, and then the second bite, which is still directed over at you, is at advantage. Dude, he's just an asshole. Oh, God. You have one uh. failed death save. It'll throw one bite over onto you, Tychus. And then it will throw one bite on the fuck. Imagine if he's like ah. a little bite. It'll bite a Zell two more times on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Alright, but that seems to be all for the Hydra's moves. Okay. I'm gonna move right here into the center of all three of them. Wait, 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 before you do that, you should attack with Buckley. Oh no, you're still within range. Yeah, I'm still within range. Yeah, is there a way that I can keep my token in the center? Because I, I don't seem to be allowed to put it, put it in the center. Yeah, you, can, the alt you can snap to center versus snap to corner. So if you change snap to corner, then you can snap to the corner of a tile um, you, while having Buckbeak snap to center. Uh, if you, on, on the top left, um, the like the one that looks like a circle and a ruler, you can snap to corner. Yeah. And that uh, that oh. should make it easier for you to, to snap, oh. or just do no snapping at all. You can also hold the alt button while you're dragging your token, and it'll just not snap to anything. Oh, okay. okay. Good to know. Okay, I will... First, I'm gonna use oh, my bonus hold on. Oh. Sorry for the interruption. Before anything else, Azel, make your death save. Oh, yeah. True. Oh, oh my god! You're oh. back! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many nat 20s in a campaign the before. On the, the uh, death saves. Just death saves! Like, it's, we just don't die! <laughs> oh <my> We're <God>. immortal. <laughs> Azel, wow. you have your turn wow. without even having to be healed up. Alright, wow. cool. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start by using my bonus action on un with Unmaving Mark against <laughs> Holden Bottom. I'm gonna use my strategy to, uh... So, uh, um, I need to make a cool damage Activate, disengage, and that. leave. Um, why doesn't, actually, why doesn't somebody yeah. else go first? I have to make a global damage modifier for my Unmaving Mark so I can okay. use it properly. Uh, my turn's pretty simple, so I, I can go. Uh, first, I'm gonna move... If I go 30 feet over here, can I still cutting words? I need to get a little closer. So we need to get you to mobile feet. Go 25 <laughs> Next level. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now I can cutting words whoever I want. Uh, as my action, I'll have the moonbeam move after him and chase him down. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I'll have, you know, you know how it is. Let me just move it to where I want it to be. Get him. Bonk. And we'll try to bonk him. I get bonked. Bonk. Four. Okay. <laughs> Eleven damage onto it. Another one of its heads is about to be torn off at the seams. And that's my entire turn. We like having spells that you just move around that are okay. active. <laughs> Alright, you, now. you so now I will make people. my I, I'm right gonna back. probably cast Scorching Ray and fire at multiple targets, so you can just do whatever you need. Okay. I'm gonna start I'm gonna use my bonus attack now, so that will swing. Ooh, nice. Advantage. That does connect. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll that D12. <laughs> the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright, the D12 gets re-rolled, and did um, that gets <laughs> <laughs> so more damage damage. increase. Wow, alright, uh, never mind. Nice. Okay, whatever, dude. Alright, sorry, cool. It eight damage <laughs> instead of seven. Nick is just taking the spirit of our uh, our rider in the bet that we made. That's the, what is yeah, it? Wasn't skinny, was the other guy? Yeah, the other guy, the chump. The other guy. Yeah, the chump. <laughs> yeah, alright, well. I'll just attack the same guy now with Fate of Glory again. 
Uh, is does it, it have pressure applied still or no? I don't know. Uh, so this one? Yeah. No, this this one uh, has regained its ar armor class back. Okay, second attack. Much better. Uh, what did I roll? I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna reroll. I don't know. I can only do it once per turn. Damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the I can't it Hydra... technically pass this next. I'll try anyways. Nope. Failed. Uh, does the monk at Hydra? Another one of its heads just like gets sliced off and falls to the ground. Okay. Um, I guess Buckbeak will attack the one on the top right. His claws. Yeah. Twelve. And fifteen. Perfect. Wow. Buckbeak alone just sliced off another head. Buckbeak's nuts. Why does Buckbeak do more damage than me? I guess his attacks are- he does the- he has the same roll, but it's 2d6 instead of 1d12, so I guess it's more reliable. Worse crits, though. Yes. Is it worse? Yes, because a crit only adds one extra uh... damage die. So if you have, like, a d12, oh, a crit well, will add another d12. It, I thought it just doubled all of your damage dice. The dice. That's why it's really good with like sneak attack and things. Yeah, that was why Rose did uh 107 damage or whatever, because the all the 46s got doubled. Yeah. Um, so right. if I were to cast a range spell, it would be a disadvantage, right? Right now, no, because it's only when you're within five feet of it, not within when it, you're within reach of it. Okay. And um, does steady aim apply to any attack I make this turn, or one attack I make this turn? I think it's just one, but let me check. Uh, on your, okay, yeah, on your yeah, no. next attack roll on the current turn. Okay. Um, I will. I will use Scorching Ray, and um, I'm going to. Uh, actually, uh, Saga, are you planning to attack this one at all? Finish off the one next to me. But... No, the reason I'm, the reason I'm asking is because I I want to see if I should throw fire uh, fire at it. Or if you're not planning on it, I won't. Um, what I'll what I'll do is I'll do scorching ray with two directed here and one directed here. And um, can I make it so that the one directed up here is at an advantage? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we'll do the top one, top to bottom. So this is the one at top and does barely connect. Hitting okay. it. Oh wait, no, it's a twenty, right? Because of the plus five thing. I, I already have a plus five. Oh, you're right. Counting in there, so. And that is for six fire damage and mineral, nice. And then the other two. They will work. Wow. <laughs> wait, I rolled a, a five, a five, a one, and a six. Damn, on the D twenties. Um. <laughs> That's still a hit. So scorch ray goes out, and now. Two of these hydras are on fire. Okay, that's all I got. Alright, then I think uh, Rose is the last one to move. Actually, she's gonna okay. punch. I'll punch. <laughs> <laughs> that one. How did you know? Mm, okay, I'll spend two key points to. Uh, no, cool. Wait. Two key points won't get it though, will it? Because it's. Yeah, you nope. can't leave. That's not. I don't. Crush. I don't think it's worth three key points. It's not. But what I'll if just, it is? I'll just <laughs> attack again. Wait, and I still have an armored strike, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Also, have... maybe just use your extra attack right now first. <laughs> Yeah, because it just comes with the attack action. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you're all 20 on a death save, you're all ones elsewhere, I guess. Dude, Azelka just one. stole all of our luck. What is yeah, this? Seriously. Okay, there we okay. go. Um, this one is not with Fire Fist, but the next one will be. Alright. So, Honor Strike for 5 bludgeoning, Honor Strike for. One second. Reeling your fist back, it lights up in fire, and you throw it forward, landing 16. It is down to a single head. Okay, so... I did not use any key points. Oh, well, that wasn't flurry of blood. Oh, yeah, okay. It wasn't. No, because it was two attacks, so. Two. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought you could only do two unarmed strikes if you use flurry of blows. 
I don't know how your attacks work. I mean, as far as I'm, as far as I know, every time I attack, I can attack with an unarmed strike after. Yeah, as a bonus action, and yeah. then um, uh, you can instead spend a key point to make that two act two extra attacks. Yeah. Gotcha. So I will. Oh, so every time you take the attack action, even with the bonus attack, you can make it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll spend the key point here to dodge. Actually. E well, you did. You yeah. did use your bonus action to make the unarmed strikes. Yeah. If you don't wanna, if you can't take the dodge action, you could alternatively just move beside me, and I can protect you. <laughs> just move That's five true. feet up. That's true. I'm still in range of it. Yeah. 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 Okay. There. And turn. <clears throat> that one is on fire. Yep, they're both on fire. All right. Um, uh, this Hydra, what it does is, it will take the opportunity attack, and you just see it dashing away. <laughs> He's okay. It just starts hissing and I uh, get wounded away. Oh. Oh well. Goodbye. <laughs> oh wait, that unwavering mark damage is supposed to be there, but. Was that enough to kill it? Um, it is not enough to kill it, but it is like the last head on its body is barely attached at all. I'm gonna make my DC 18 persuasion check. Nope. We go full One day. survivors on it and try to One murder day. it as it runs. Alright, <laughs> this this monk at Hydra goes ahead and you know what you could do? Actually I just realized Psychic, you could No wait, never mind. I was saying you can make like a damage roll for it. To add on, uh, no, there's no way to have three boxes. It would only be two. Uh, yeah. Do the process automatically. Okay. Uh, the Among It Hydra up here will go for uh, the two and two over here. So that's two bites onto Tychus. <laughs> and then two onto the book. Oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, okay, the, the 22 onto. I only have one bardic inspiration left, so I'll, I'll let that one go through. No worries. Okay. So, well, right, so the, the 21 onto Buckbeak connect, right? No, it's 22. No, Buckbeak's 20. I'm 22. Oh, Buckbeak's 20. Okay. Yeah. So that one will hit Buckbeak, but I, uh... Actually, yeah, I guess I'm, I will use a reaction on it, but it's for damage. So you can, you can still roll damage. Alright, there it is. Buckbeak will take 11 damage. Okay, and I will roll 1d10. Yeah, so that's one hit on the Oh my god. Okay, well, he takes four <laughs> less damage. <laughs> nice. The Monk at Hydra over here. Still, I'll begin its turn making that constitution. <laughs> it's succeeding and taking only six damage this time. It hadn't been lit up yet, right? Meaning that the head from earlier that it was pr the head that it had from earlier that was uh, recently grown and damaged a little bit just <laughs> reattached itself back entirely, and then the moonbeam damage connected. Oh, that's right. Okay, I I forgot about that. I would have cast the fireball to it too, scorching it too. Oops. Hmm? Mark so stupid. Uh, <laughs> Essentially, every time every time um uh, it regrows, and not it, the heads not only regrow, but any wounded heads will also reattach fully. Right, right, that makes sense. I, I just right. hadn't, we hadn't attacked that, I hadn't thought about it, but Moonbeam hit it, so hmm. it is actually going to move out of Moonbeam again. <laughs> and now from over here, it's going to go with the attacks three onto each person, which is going to be three to its left and three onto Sug. So disadvantage. On the left. Kion, you take 13 damage. And then it will try two more bites at you. Um, I will... Okay, I was gonna say I will... Um, oh my god. Uh, really bad. <laughs> I, I, I'm using... I can't help you with those. Yeah, no. Um, what's it called? Hmm, uh, I could take a risky cutting or it's enough to roll a 5 or higher. Yeah, no. I don't think it's worth it. I'm looking Doesn't at the damage to see if I... Or you can use your D100. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at the damage to see if I want to reroll that first fight. Um, 1D4 plus 5, roll the 3. 
No, I'll, I'll let the first one slip. Um, roll the damage of the second one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut that one in half. Alright, so, and then I'll go ahead and tally up all of these then. Five, I guess they made the right choice. <laughs> Huge dubs. 35 damage as a man just lands some solid blows on you. Damn, it actually Aqua, hit me all. Um, with He's nuts. Fighting initiate giving me a free use of my reaction fighting styles um, without expending my reaction. Can I use more than one of them in the same turn? Or like, can I use more than one of them on the same person? Or in same yeah, turn? there's nothing that would stop you. You can use protection once without a reaction and then use protection again as a reaction. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, right. so you uh, did how take your reaction to uh, attack, right? Yeah. No, that was the, the previous turn. No, that was just because you attacked this one. No. As it ran away. Yeah, you attacked this one as it ran away. I, okay, but I, to... I have free reaction on my uh, protection and interception. Oh, yeah, so like, you have like, the they free don't reaction. Free right, right. Yeah. right. You have one free reaction? Right. On to Rose, it will go for the uh, triple bite. I will make one of them at disadvantage. Damn. Or advantage? actually, I guess two of them at two of them at disadvantage. Or no, I can only make one. So yeah, one at disadvantage. Wait, aren't are they you... all at disadvantage? Okay. Are you dodging? No, it's it for attack. No, because or... I I okay, can I can I, I can do it on a single attack roll. That's fine. All right, first one was a disadvantage, miss, but one of them does eventually connect. However, your poison immunity means it only deals seven piercing damage rather than a full fourteen. Well, I'm gonna use my free reaction of interception to reduce <laughs> by one d10. Or no, I already oh, used it on Bucky. Fine. Fuck! Oh yeah. It's fine. I, I think yeah, seven damage. Now. Theoretically, I could cutting words the damage, <laughs> but that seems no. unnecessary <laughs> too. <laughs> then d100. Okay. We get hurt sometimes. Like. Oh, God. No, it's not okay. <laughs> if I let Mark take 35 okay. damage, Saga yeah. takes yeah. seven. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Hydras are finished with their moves. It is all of your turn again. Sorry, Mark, come clearly. Right, this my is now done. Alright, um, if I don't use a fire attack, would you guys be able to use a fire attack? I mean, I could fireball uh, directly in the middle of the two of them and then hope our <laughs> teammates dodge. <laughs> I do have evasion. Uh, it'll work. Bucky yeah, but... has evasion, but I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't trust myself to, <laughs> honestly, right now, after what happened the last turn. <laughs> I mean, fireball's my only thing. Wait, hold on, hold on. Um, fire. can you, wait, 30 foot radius or 20 foot? 20 foot radius. Hold on, wait. I'm I can probably, there, there might be. Is there, is there an angle where you could just, yeah, you could do like this, right? Or like, is there an no, angle? There, there's no way that counts no? as hitting them. It's like, it's like their tips are getting hit. <laughs> Yeah, look, man, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a man of technicalities. If that, tip works, if that tip works for attack, for my attack range, I would assume it would work for yours, but... Uh, I think where it is right now, it would hit you, though, so you'd have to move slightly. Yeah, so I... Can... I mean, I can move first. I also think it's really funny if I just spend the entire combat moving around moonbeams and loots. <laughs> <laughs> why Why do you not want to use the fire attack, Mark? Because I want to shank it. That's why. Okay. I could just try to paralyze one of them instead of moving the moonbeam as well. In theory, it's possible for me to do fire damage, but it's not likely. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, Azaka, don't you have Firebolt? I could have sworn someone else had Firebolt. I have I have burning hands, I just haven't had an opportunity to use it. <laughs> oh, that's true, I now, have burning now hands, might you be might. your time. <laughs> okay. I'm... You use it on that one. Listen, listen, listen. If something happens to me, just give me the nicest cutting words you can, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna use steady aim and I'm gonna shank a motherfucker, okay? Okay. Okay. Alright. Advantage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm Aqua. Are these considered undead? They're not, right? They are not undead. These are monstrosities. Okay. And then it does it does not deal with seven thunder damage just yet. All right, the booming blade goes down and lands for a solid 28 damage, slicing off the six head. Nice. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. I'm going to use my mage hands to push myself 15 feet. So, uh, bye. <laughs> 
Your hands literally just grab you and lift you away. <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. Okay. Oh, I'm still turning. Yeah, alright, well, first things first. As an action. That bitch, no escape. <laughs> then as a bonus action. What's up? Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Did you use Steady Aim? Four. Yes, I did. Steady Aim is a bonus action. You He's are cheating. correct. That's why I cannot He's move, actually. Mark is cheating. He's cheating. He's that cheating. Oh my god. <laughs> Mark's cheating. I mean, I could just use Zephyr Strike instead and just walk away, but whatever. But you didn't. <laughs> yep, I'm good with what I did. Uh, this guy so then I revert back to my previous statement of if I get attacked, I would appreciate a, a timely cutting word. No, I need to see. I okay. can, I can I probably help cut. with that anyways. Oh fuck, I can only collect right here if I want to still be able to help Nick. All right, yeah, That's sure. fine, we're good. We'll go you, don't need to, you don't need to help me, I'll be okay. Oh, God, maybe I... we should wait until Saga goes Crusher before we do anything yeah, else. Realistically, we probably should have, but... <laughs> I've I've literally oh. done my entire turn. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Saga, do you want to go now? Kidding, yeah. Uh, I'll go on this one. How many heads does it have? Um, five. it currently has five heads. Has there been five any heads. fire on it? Not nope. yet. No, uh, not none of them currently have any fire at all. Okay, I have one last charge, lads. So. I'll Azel attack. Also has burning hands if you want to do oh. that too, so. I'll hit it with, sorry, without Ooh. fire. Six bludgeoning. Um. Why no fire? Because I was. She wants to wait until Crusher's, monster. yeah, until, make sure oh. Crusher's right. applied The Crusher applies, its AC is now 13. Okay, and I will unarmed yeah. strike. Uh, this one is with fire. Right, use your bonus action to add the 20 damage onto it. And, I and it is attack. now a light. And I'll attack again. Uh, with regular. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, let's go. Right. Bonk. That's that is another 10 damage going down. Yeah. No flaring fist on that one. Because I don't have any more charges. Okay. 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 I will attack the one on the bottom first. Um, I'm not going to bother using Fated Glory this time because I don't think I want to use it since we're probably fine now. I'm just going to use my plus one lance. <clears throat> and I will hit for seven damage. Um, actually, what did I roll? One of its heads is teetering on the verge of being completely sliced off. I'm going to re-roll that 1d12. Yeah! Well, not anymore. It's All not right, uh, An additional nine damage so goes down, and that basically you like you saw the head didn't get cut off, and you just dug further, slicing it off entirely. Okay, uh, I am going to apply an unwavering mark to that uh, beastie. Also, something I just realized that I can apl I can apply as many marks as I want, but I can only attack a number of times equal to my strength modifier. So. I can mark. I can. I should be marking on every attack, but I haven't been because I thought it was the marks that <laughs> were consumed, but it's the attacks. So yeah, my mistake. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna use my horns on the one above me, um, since I, think I want the weapon master <laughs> bonus damage. So I will attack with my horns. Oops. Additional ten uh, damage goes down onto it, and I will apply an unwavering mark to that one as well. Ooh, two unwavering mark. Nice. So what does unwavering mark do again? Um, if it attacks uh, somebody other than me, it has disadvantage. Uh, and then if they it, it attacks somebody else, I can make a bonus attack on it uh, against it on my next turn with advantage and bonus damage equal to half my fighter level. Oh, neat. But the bonus attacks will consume charges, and I have charges equal to my strength modifier, so I've already used one in this, this combat, Stop so it. I only have two left. Whatever. Eat each other. See if I care. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Mm, delicious. <laughs> the dogs are fucking <laughs> biting each other. Is that everyone's turn? Is Lakao okay. not gone yet? Is it not yet gone? Oh, also Buffy. I mean, this one's already oh, on yeah, fire. Right. I might just try and get rid of it. Yeah, you should try to get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to use fire on that one now since it's already. Also, I don't think I really could without dogs hitting you. <laughs> Is that moving? Oh yeah, you're burning into the cone, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a gun. Oh, oh nice. nice. Two yeah. solid hits for 17. It's dead, right? I don't think so. It's got three heads left. Three heads are better than nothing. Theory, oh. In theory, Fuck. I could have Special. summoned my elemental and get it to punch while I fireballed them in return. <laughs> I think it's fine. All right. Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, so, I'm um, uh. I think that's back. everybody, right? Buckbeak. Oh, Buckbeak. Buckbeak's going. Buckbeak has to attack. Beak Buck. He's gonna go on the one on the top since he's on range of the other one. Oh, well, one of them heads. Nice. Nice, solid little 11 piercing. Aww. Okay. I don't think that damage is gonna stick though, unfortunately. No, but I mean... He doesn't have anything else to do, so he might as well... Yeah. He might as well slap right. him. Oh boy. Alright, so the Hydras begin their moves. Uh, one thing you notice on the one on the right, it does, um, uh, the head that was nearly completely decapitated regrows, uh, reattaches, and then the second head uh, regrows in its place. However, despite it now having two heads, it is still continuing to run. And it is out of combat. <laughs> it is not interested in us anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I just, like, actually smart compared to most creatures, most creatures then. Oh, five heads are better than one. The uh, monk at Hydra then, <laughs> um, uh, the the one over here regrows nothing. It is currently uh, on fire. But the one up here, one of its heads was nearly entirely cut off. But then it just reattaches fully, and then on one of its stumps, two more heads regrow, bringing it back up to six heads. Mm -hmm. Six heads. All right, um, it will move down a little bit over here and will attempt to divert attack between uh, the targets that it sees. So that's going to be uh, three down onto Saga, which will be a disadvantage due to the unwavering mark. Ooh. E one hits for what, two hits. No one hits, right? I oh, know you have 16 AC. That's right. So eight damage. Are you cutting worth like that? I'm gonna I be can, honest. I can, I can, yeah. I mean, uh, I can intercept from the damage. Yeah, I feel like interception is better because if I, yeah, if I go down, one... <laughs> it's, it's, much yeah. it's, only, it's only one so, AC, so. It's gonna be 1d10 plus, um, I can reduce the damage. I can't make it not hit, but I can reduce it by 1d10 plus 3. So, okay, minus so 9 zero damage, damage. So, zero, so zero damage. damage. Yeah. Yes. You don't even take damage. Nice. Aww. Right, that, that that damage? Nope. I reduced it by 9. Oh, and you're immune to poison. Immune to poison. So. Yeah. Well, there's, there's two attacks that were supposed to hit me. And here's oh, a second. Oh. Yeah. Right. You want me to do it again? Right, oh, hold on. I you managed again. to pierce that one, right? Oh, yes, I did. So now it doesn't hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has piercer. Minus two. Oh, okay. Piercer. That one. That one doesn't hit then. Only and piercer and crusher are nuts. <laughs> I know. I can stay in combat over here. Yeah, that's a lot worse. I do a lot of bludgeoning it, damage yeah, to, and uh, attack possible too. times per turn. Mm -hmm. This seems good. <laughs> Damn, alright, well, you just take zero damage from that. Nice. Give me a second. I'm just adding something to your uh, sheet here. I guess make your life a lot easier. Oh. Every time you attack, it will be a reminder. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a lot easier. <laughs> well, 1d10 plus 7. How did you roll it? Uh, I just clicked it. It's a oh, okay. button, in, like, where you roll damage. Probably. Yeah, let me let me yeah. actually, uh... Eh, you could probably just put check or something on. <laughs> Alright, um, so the Hydra finished its attacks over at Saga, and will now commence, um, two attacks over onto you, Tychus. At normal. Wait, how is that 1d10 plus 7? 
It should be 1d10 plus 3. Yeah, it's my proficiency. Oh, half your fighter level. Oh, okay. it's a bonus. So, no, the, the fighter level is on the warding, manu or the uh, unwavering mark damage is half my fighter level. Interception is, is 1d10 plus my proficiency. Oh, right, right, right. right. right now. Yeah, okay. That really quick. Yeah. Uh, the Amonkit Hydra does land one hit on you successfully, however. You receive 11 damage, and it will throw one uh, disadvantage attack on you. Nope. Miss it. Okay. Uh... The other Hydra will make its constitution save against the Moonbeam. Yeah, that's it right. Just can't, it just can't get away from this thing. Oh shit, but he's just toughing it out. He's nuts. Damn. Hey, well, at least, oh. at least that's what he uses the nat 20 on. He Bro. doesn't crit one of us. <laughs> <laughs> it was so close to cutting off one of its heads too. It'll go for um uh, two bites at disadvantage over onto Kion. One. Two. That one What's pierced. Can I now? can I get a uh, yeah, that one is, word, that sir? One, no, that one's also pierced, so. Oh yeah, true. Okay. Hold on, let me wow. uh, make sure that I, I thought the piercer was only once per on oh, one creature actually talking about it. Let me double check. Yeah, actually, maybe you might be, you might be right. I'm actually not sure. Once per yeah, turn. once per turn when you hit a creature, okay. you can and Whoa. decrease all that target's attack rolls. Yeah, so we'll just assume it was on the top one. Because okay. we just uh, yeah, that we just, that's fine. In that case, yeah, I can I can cutting words it sure. All right, the roll doesn't matter. Uh, it is it is cut. <laughs> but I want to yeah, see how anyway. much I ruin his yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just four, four. <laughs> and it'll try a disadvantage attack on Saga. Hit. You want you want an interception? <laughs> but you can do that again. I mean, Jesus. Do you have one, sir? But... Yeah, I do. Okay. Crazy. Right, two, two damage. Two damage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because the first person... one was three. The first one was three. This one was using my. Oh, no, Wait, are, you out of, are you out of uh, poison? <laughs> poison immunity is pretty good in a jungle. Surprisingly, yeah. unsurprisingly, yeah. I guess. <laughs> There's so many poisonous well, damaging creatures. Jake's dead. Jake gone. But it was all of your turns. Uh, are you out of Bardic of Technically, no. Functionally, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Outside of Bardic. <laughs> Outside of Bardic. You, you're, holding, you're holding this big, massive Bardicus die inside of your hand, Fenville, thinking. <laughs> you guys better get used to that because every time you ask if I'm out and I only have that one, yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, no. Functionally, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, should we just try and kill this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me do it. Yeah. Yeah. You go first. Are you fucking set on fire or something? Huh? Cause I'm out of fire. Yeah. 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 No. Well, if we don't oh, kill, we'll connect. Set on fire. We, okay. We, we I'll might spend just kill a point on that. What that connect? Um, no. I thought, it, I thought the yeah. pressure disappeared. It's 15 AC. Oh, it's oh, 15. I thought, I thought it was 16, I it was 16 for some yeah. reason. What did I? Okay. Um, let's see. Damage roll. 12, and make your other extra attack before yeah, you use your bonus action. That's probably the easiest way of handling it. Make just, just handle your extra two attacks and then bonus action. That one does not um, That one it's not gonna I will hit. hit. I will make it hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Another 12 on its head. You just actually punch one of its heads off. Okay, awesome. And, like the uh, animation of Vi punching her gut. And then... Bonus action, an arm strike. Nine more damage. Yeah, Fuck you. Spend a key, well. right, you're, you're spending a key point to um, uh, add that extra an arm strike? Oh, well, I was gonna. But, but if you say no, then I won't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, you spent that key All point. Right. You get the second an arm strike. <laughs> you rolled it. You rolled it. I, have, I had three more key points. So it has two heads left? Uh, yes. Yeah. You know what that means? I'm gonna shank it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, enough money for chicken nuggets. <laughs> Sorry. I will again. You don't have to. Already, you don't have to Hold on, there's one thing. Didn't this one move earlier? Right? Uh, Stop it! I don't think it did. Uh, I don't think it did. My, no, my, my moonbeam's still in the dead so center yeah, of it. It did not move. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't have any reason to boost it, did it? Okay. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna shank it. And. Yeah. I will use Saga's in fight with 5 you don't have to use steady aim, right? 
Unless you want it for the advantage. I just want it for advantage. I mean, I don't need to. If, if I kill, I don't really need to move, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. Like, what I, the, the only other thing I can do with my bonus action is. Uh, could you use Zephyr yeah. Strike? Yeah, but no, I, I uh, could use Zephyr yeah. Strike, but I don't want to use a spell slot for that. I don't feel like I need to. Um, okay. So, yep, I'm going to shank it. Okay, Whew. consistency. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then that has sneak attack on it. Yes. 24, 24 damage. Oh, the final head is hanging on by a thread. Nice. Do you have an extra attack? I wish. <laughs> okay. Rogue's never um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get those. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, uh, okay. I'm just, I'm just measuring. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can put it right there, it looks yeah. like it gets Sit. both of them, without getting Sit. Saga. Thank you. You can get me, I have evasion. I mean, Aqua, if I if I center a fireball where it is right here, does it get both of these guys and not Saga, or does it get Saga too? I can't... I... Uh, I say Saga's out of range of it. That's that it's going okay. to equip both of them, but avoid Saga. Back in okay. like two seconds. In fact, I'll you want to make fireball. it even more obvious, like right here it would probably work too. That ah, true. Yeah. I don't I don't think you need to use fireball, do you think we need to? Yeah, I'll cast Fireball. Okay. It isn't about the He'll need. blast him. It, it doesn't matter what this Hydro yeah. saves. I, I have a question. Couldn't he technically mm -hmm. center the Fireball like here, just have it up in the air? Like, isn't that possible since they're huge? Yeah, th that's absolutely possible too. Technically. Bro, see, you gotta think with your noggin. You gotta just aim <laughs> it in the air. <laughs> air this, this Hydra here has been slain. Burnt to a crisp, and its body just like actually disintegrates as it burns in, uh, enti away entirely. Now that its regeneration isn't hampering it. As we say, at least make it poggy woggies. It doesn't even need to. It had nine HP left. It actually can't survive. Oh okay. And Eight this one will take the full twenty-two. And I mean, with nine HP, what if Jake rolled eight ones? You know, he could have survived. Yeah, I'll hmm. have you know, I've actually rolled a twelve damage fireball before. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. My, play my players all laughed at me. I was like, this will be a real threat for them. And they all laughed at me because it was 12 damage. I was like, guys, that was supposed to be scary. <laughs> this Hydra is currently on fire. And as my bonus action, we'll, we'll ram it into him. <laughs> this we'll one's going to try to... Yeah. It's going to try to hit him like a battering ram. <laughs> ah, rookie mistake. Battering rams suck. <laughs> Oh, that's it for me, though. Okay, I will stabby stabby. Only one creature now in front of you. Alright. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Buckbeak, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I'm not- no. I, I'm useless. I am useless. It's okay, that, just because of that, Azaka's gonna roll two nat 20s, and it's just fucking something crazy. So do- yep. Consistency! Okay. Oh, what is happening? Just in this turn alone, y'all, we had a 23, a 23, a 10, a 10, and a 19, a 19. <laughs> you do a 22 damage to it and slice off one of its heads. We oh, really the are the, the fucking numbers. party of- the gamers. What, what did you call us? Jake Klassen? Uh, statistical anomalies? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> the party is statistical. Dude, next time we go to the arena and fight, we should, like, when they ask us what our team name is, we should name ourselves statistical anomalies. I heard Irina at first instead of Arena. And I was like, are we going to do the Irina? Dude, what if we go to the. What if we go to the arena there. and Aqua Aqua sets stuff in such a way where, unbeknownst to us, Andrew's the final boss and he joins the disc? <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! Uh, he's, he's been there the whole time. He's now a thirteenth level wizard. <laughs> oh no! Right. Uh, the Hydra takes the damage. Has five hits. I believe that is everybody's moves now. Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, it's. Yeah. It has um, uh, no regrowth at this turn, but it does have five attacks, which it will start dishing out over to the people around it. They're going for I two onto you, Tychus. Mark it. 
I couldn't even mark it because I, didn't, I missed all my attacks. That's okay, okay we're good. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna go two hits on the Saga. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Okay. I'm guessing you're just going to uh, intercept well, both that's... of those though. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, six. Okay. Four, four damage. Four damage on the first one. Don't forget you have your your I get two ticker four? now that you can just use your uh, what? global whatever. Like you have it, you can just click damage reduction, right? The button. Oh yeah, I'm. You stupid. don't have to roll the one d ten. I forgot. <laughs> so I'm not used two to two damage and uh, four damage. Zero right? damage. Oh wait, no, that's oh, right. That's right, because that's after the three. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. So. Four damage total, I guess? No, five damage. Is it five? Or... Five, uh, yeah. Yeah, five, yeah, five damage total. Three three. Well. I literally feel like a tank because of all this prison yeah, damage. I love, how, I, love how, I love how Rose has gotten hit like eight times and has taken half the damage that I took at, like in a single turn. <laughs> because the fucking poison are in it, it is it's fucking broken. Alright, let's time to stop the bottom because I think at this point it's just attack, attack, attack and just see if you manage to kill it this turn and avoid expending any more resources. Uh... Let's see. Tankus. Wait, wait, let me well, go first. <laughs> well, he hits anyway, so... Yeah, I hit anyway. One hits. Oh. Uh, no, it's got 15 AC. We're good. <clears throat> 20, head cut off. Okay, fuck speak. It one hits at least. One of Buckbeak's connects for 15 damage. The two-handed strikes go in for another 21 damage. And then you hit the crit with the unarmed strike for another nine. If I walk through the moonbeam, do I take damage? Uh, I think yes. so, right? No, I think so. I think it's a few intro. You don't need your though. turn here. Let me, uh... Oh, uh, well, because this is not, this is my, that's not in range. When a creature sure. enters it for the first time. Well, then let me go first then. I'll solve this problem. <laughs> there. Oh, wow, the moonbeam's out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. There's <laughs> three heads left. Okay, um, I'm gonna go... And while you're doing that, I'm gonna bonk it. Ah, oh, Crusher. We like Crusher. We like Crusher. Like crusher. All the damage. Ah. Aqua nerfed it. <laughs> Seven you know, horse? For, for the future. That's oh, good. sorry, that is not supposed to be advantage. Yeah, I don't do retroactive nerfs. <laughs> okay, well, that misses. Not sure. Oh, I know. Did you change it? Did you change it to like minus one AC or something? Yeah, minus one. Yeah, just minus one instead of minus two. So, we still like pretty good. Crusher. We, like we like Crusher. We like Crusher. Another Nine thirty. Oh my goodness, it is almost completely dead after that hit. It's got thirty-four HP remaining. Hey, Azel. Oh, I am off with Azel. It's your kill. Shoot, shoot. It's him. Crusher. We like Crusher. <laughs> How'd we roll three 13s in a row, by the way? Wait, am I... Statistical anomalies, Wait, am I not right? You can roll the other damage one. You got both. Yeah, you got both. Oh. 21. 21? Okay. 21? It's not dead quite yet, right? No, it has oh, one head might, remaining at 13 HP. He might be. Oh, okay. I will... Uh, Get oh yeah, I should have marked. I should have marked it on my turn, so I'm gonna mark it. <laughs> I use a key point to uh, number strike it again. Yeah. Okay. It's like four HP left or something. Three. Seven. Three Seven. HP left. If I can do literally anything, dude, I'm just telling you the move. Wait, wait, I got bleeding. it. I got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and shove it out of the way so it has to move back to us if it wants to attack. I'm gonna try shoving it. So it's gotta make a, a strength save. Before you go ahead and do that, it will have to make a con save against the boon beam at the start of this turn right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh but wouldn't it regenerate first? I've been uh oh wait, you're right, the regeneration would happen first. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that's how I've been doing it the whole time. Yeah, so I'll I'll push it. Yeah. Well, did nobody have any fucking fire damage? Well, I thought we would kill it. Because this was a lot more fun than using fire, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was that very damage. close. You did almost kill it off this turn. It was just off by 7 da uh, HP. What's, uh... Oh, um... So yeah, it's gotta make a DC-14 strength save. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's sick. So yeah, it doesn't have to move. And I All am right, marking I... it with the mark, by the way. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of its turn, you know what it is. 
Um, uh, the one head that was nearly detached regrows back onto itself, and then one of its heads sprouts another two, or three heads total. 90 health, holy shit. Yeah, but now he's gotta make a con save. <laughs> We did it. Wow. But yeah, he's taken all four of it though, so he better not be laughing. All right, uh, top to bottom, Taika Saga uh, Kion. Okay. It has disadvantage on everybody but me. The one onto uh, Saga will connect, but uh, you're going to intercept that, I believe, which may just reduce it down to zero. Well, can he, can he just intercept the attack roll instead of the damage roll? I don't, right? No, because my, my my reaction to intercept the attack rolls is just disadvantage, so it's, it has already got disadvantage. So. Oh, okay, okay. Not everything works like cutting words. Ah! Yeah, it just does no damage at all. <laughs> you just literally block its head as it does. <laughs> it's actually just going to try running away, honestly. <laughs> oh! It's all right, I, we got opportunity attacks. And it also yeah. takes 10 thunder damage. Oh, yeah. Oh Go ahead and just do the rolls. I do not see it surviving one more turn. It's with 86 HP, you did more than no. that the previous turn. I crit again! Sorry. <laughs> Wait, right. so... That, that applies um, pressure for me. Aqua, I... Mm -hmm. I can't use Booming Blade, so I have to just use a normal attack, right? Yeah, like a rapier. Oh, fuck, okay. Um, I think I crit four times this... I'm just gonna uh, do one of right. these numbers. Yeah, your crit, your crit still, still, okay. still got okay, so less damage than my regular attack. Though. That's uh, a yeah, 22, but or tw 23. Because they keep rolling minutes. like shit. Yeah. One d eight plus the dex. Uh, well, no, I'm using, I'm still using the sun blade. I'm just not using booming blade. Oh, true. Okay. Uh, plus two. Why did you roll d twenty instead of just collecting attack roll for your? Because I don't have it on my attack. I need to make it. <laughs> yeah, because I never really had to before. Yeah, I've, I've only okay. been using booming blade. <laughs> I, I forgot that I need one for. I'll opportunity yeah, please. Attack. If we just describe how you finish this thing off, it does not survive in this turn of 52 I will, HP. I will firebolt it. Sure, why not? I'll also firebolt Buckbeak it. Buckbeak uses okay. the ring of jumping to leap onto its back and bite it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we like crits! Oh, sorry, ignore the sneak damage, but yeah. <laughs> no, no sneak damage because uh, t currently Buckbeak and it's on its back just clawing away, dealing another oh. 17. But I, I firebolt it, so it's it's not a finesse weapon. Oh, true. It it, it incinerates as the firebolt and bug beak dig into it. Dead. Yeah, it cannot survive another turn. Son. I, I I hope you can see how the HP region was working. Every head had th exactly thirty HP, basically. Uh, okay. Yeah. It goes up in smoke. Well, that was that was pretty easy. I feel pretty good. Right, let me try this. See if it works. I mean, Azel took a. Took Does this look right, Aqua? I'm one fine. One D10 plus three plus. Uh, uh, one D10 <laughs> plus Dex plus two. This is a plus two weapon. Um, let me see. The one shining D10, sea. One D twenty plus Dex plus mod plus prof. Yep, that looks correct. And the attack and roll the is damage. Oh, the back in the suck. Yep, that looks correct. You might okay. want to place that actual what the type of damage is on that um. Oh yeah, you're right. Type radiant. Also, how Doesn't... come when I'm not actually rolling a sneak attack, that's when I get six six five three. <laughs> come on. Welcome to D and D. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's it's called they call it the desire sensor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Monster hunter. What time of day is it? Um, it was, uh, you traveled two out of your three potential hexes, so that means it was probably about, because I normally let you travel, like, 16 hours, so that's 12 hours. Okay. Um, do we want to just go a little further and then sleep tonight? Rest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we can still go a little further. Probably a good okay. idea. You, Ama, will go ahead and do that. God dang it. I keep on accidentally crash. I, I know why I end up crashing my roll 20. But uh, I keep doing it anyway on accident. I'm good with it. Go ahead. Uh, I'll go ahead and move to Tile in just a moment as things reload. But you may have your long short rest as you continue on your journey. I'm going to spend uh, some hit die. Don't forget D6s, friends. Or just the one D6, I suppose. But <laughs> so I am getting 
20. I'm back. Wow, I am not rolling well on these hit dice. Add a d6 in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nice three extra. Don't forget your d6 yeah, as okay. well, Azelka. I will roll mine. Wait, Are I'm we thinking a short rest? Well. Stupid. Yes. Wee! My key point. Okay, hit dice. Personally, I mean, I feel great. I'm not gonna spend it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, Jake, do you want the pearl power today since you use a fireball? Uh, yeah, that'd be okay. ideal. I mean, how many spells okay. are you missing? Uh, I'm still missing. I, I only have two total level two slots. So I'm still missing one. I mean, you can. I mean, I have two level three slots left, and then a extra healing or mass healing word. Twenty-two. I just heal back to full. But I will know if I run out of spells, it is a little disastrous. Yeah, no, you, you can use it. I'm, the only reason I really need um, my level 2 spell slots, like, the, the most important thing is for Mirror Image, and that's the only thing I should really need to cast once, I hope. Mm -hmm. All right, in that case, yeah, I'll just use it when it becomes Dawn, and then... Okay. <clears throat> so how does it work? You can restore one spell level up to three? Up to third? Yeah. Is it up to three total levels or up to third level? Yeah, up to third level. Okay. I wasn't sure if you could also get like a first and a second level. No, that'd be nice. That'd be that would be kind of OP, I feel like. Yeah, not necessarily OP, just significantly better. There we go. Do you guys use another hit dice? I have 37 <laughs> out of 48 HP. I have all of them. Fine. I'll be fine? Alright. We were talking to me, the greed board. I'm gonna roll another hit dice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have three left. Just to make sure everyone rolled their d6 when they were rolling, yeah? Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, Buckbeak gets a d6. Hell That's yeah. That's right, yeah. I play music for Buckbeak. <laughs> we like Buckbeak. Nice. Did all of you roll a three? No, all of yeah. you except her, Azelka, rolled a three. Statistical <laughs> anomalies. I mean, it... <laughs> stop that. <laughs> You wake up in the morning and continue on your journey, getting fairly close over to your destination now. Hey, is this a, like, a short long rest? Yeah, yeah it's another one of them short long rests. Jungle rest, we can call them. <laughs> Flaming Fliss are back up, boys. <laughs> oh, shit, I nearly forgot to re reload my Bardic Inspirations. Yeah. Uh, Do you need to roll more for your, your Wind of Paralysis, Jake, as well? Only used one charge, so it's automatically coming back. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, let's check. This is 1d6 plus 1, isn't it? Yep. Okay. I will use a soul coin charge. A what now? Eat. Oh. Delicious soul. Are you More like soul, soul food, am I right? Oh. Holy shit. I'm Wait, insane at these rolls today. I get 10 uh, temporary HP. What? What the fuck? is that from? Soul coin. That, thank you, you said that before. What is a soul coin? <laughs> it is a the coin that soul. has three charges, <laughs> and when you roll a charge, uh, it's I think it's a 1d10. Here, uh, I'll post you the text. Yeah, I'll just get the text, that's fine. I have it, yeah, like... Yeah, the soul coin. You don't know about the soul coin? I have the, the soul... link copied, not the text, so... Sorry. You can do a couple of different things, but the drain life is why I grabbed a couple of them. <clears throat> All right, um, you are continuing on your journey when, uh, passing through a couple of ruins, you hear some uh, kind of gurgling f sounds not too far away, and you see uh, these three creatures. What? The uh, you, God. However, they currently do not look hostile at this exact moment, but you see that they are like trying to gesture over at you. It's Croxzilla. <laughs> Where are we? We're on the right side? Yeah. You were just passing by from top to bottom. And I'll wave at them. Uh, you, you hear one of them, um, uh... Actually, even though its mouth isn't moving, you hear it telepathically communicating over with you, Fento. Well, 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 what brings you here? 
Oh, we're just, and I will be saying this out loud. Oh, we're just passing by. We were going to uh, investigate a frog hemoth. You, you see them looking amongst themselves as if they don't understand what you're saying. Uh, uh, wait, so we can understand them, but they can't understand us. Oh, silly me, they must speak, must speak a different language. You I'll say exactly what I just said, but they, I'll say it again in an elvish. <laughs> you see one of them point over to your head. I'll think it at them. <laughs> you gotta think. <laughs> you think it at them. Uh, actually, and it works, as you reply telepathically. Yeah. They don't They don't need to understand... They, they need to understand a language, not the same language. Okay. You are in our territory. What will you offer as tribute? Uh, well, what kind of things do you like as tribute? Thinking at them. The green slot over here is what they're called. Uh, it's just moving forward, like, kind of looking you all up and down. That's mm. tough. Shiny things. It's always good. As Gold. They want shiny things if we don't Items. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna leave I'll... the diplomacy up to you, Fenbull. I'll just offer him a soul coin. I do not happen to have a shiny thing. Yeah, very large boot slot of goes over to the soul coin and they pick it up. It's very, uh, what is it called? Pri it's, uh, pencil. precious. Yeah, precious. There you go. You see, um, uh, the blue, uh, slot over there motioning over toward the green one and they start speaking inside of their own gurgly like language. Then, um, uh, the green slot, you hear a harsh tone go out and the blue one nods. More. What more? Well, the other coins that I have are what? Like I, the charges that I have are um, like they're not as precious. I give him a full one. Benval will take out two hundred gold. Hmm. <laughs> the no, we one have one. This fella is huge and jacked. Is this enough? Yeah, I can tell. How, how huge are we talking? Um, they're standing most like 13 feet high. Mm. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh, he's, he's cute. He's Wolverine. What, the, what do you mean he's cute? Look at him. You got ball bearings? He's got Look Wolverine <laughs> claws. <laughs> you think we can take him? I think uh, we can the, take him. Here's Honestly, what the green one looks like. Um, he is very cool he looks, looking. He's definitely a mage. He has a monkey! He's got a monkey! Monkey! Oh shit! <laughs> monkey. I like these guys now. I don't want to fight them. Uh, do they understand us? No, they oh. don't. Oh, look at him. Look when at you're him. When you're communicating telepathically, they seem to. Um. Can I try to communicate with it? Uh, yeah, they pick up the 200 gold from Fenville, and as they're walking back, they turn back over to you as you're, uh, like, telepathically responding. I'll say, if this isn't enough, we can always, uh, try to, like, work out a favor. What kind of favor? Anything you need. Hmm. You sure you should say that? I mean, you know, it's the worst that can happen. We'll fight them. We'll... They um, uh, respond to each other inside of a good old language again. Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Where are you from? Around. I mean, we, we're coming from Port Nyanzaru, if that's what you're asking. Hmm. It's not my home, but it's where I've been spending most of my time. But surely this is enough. I mean, we gave you that valuable coin. I don't Are you sure they, they know where that is? And we gave you... Even if they don't know what, money. what the soul coin is, it says you can feel the soul inside of it, so they probably recognize yeah. that at least. No, I mean, where the point is. Oh, poor name's area. It's um, a very they... precious coin. They... Certainly recognize what the word uh, port is, but uh, <laughs> the north. As, as, as you the hear, north. 
you hear them talking amongst themselves and then uh, uh the red one finally starts uh going up and like kind of bouncing back and forth on its legs as they're speaking slot to each other oh uh, the green Aqua, while they're distracted, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion, and um, I want to like move up here. I just want to cast like something, um, just I don't know, like a some local local animal life that looks not uh, super threatening, but you know, intimidating, like over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So just um, some illusion over there. All right. A little uh, an illusion appears over in that direction. Uh, and but th before they really look over there, uh, the green one begins telepathically communicating once more. We can work out something. Do you know Mambala? Mambala? Um, yes. No. It's Do a we? city we're going. Yeah, it's a place we're going to. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. They. they yeah, we do. Uh, the, the green slot points out inside of our particular direction and approximately the area where Mambala is. Big Mesa Plateau. You bring me head of witch up there. Maybe we find something we can give back. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we were planning on heading there as soon as we finished checking out where we were heading now. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. You're showing <laughs> So, I mean, surely we could help you out with that since we're already heading that way. And in the meantime, oh. you could you can hang on to what we gave you now and we can pass by. That seems fair to me, right? Uh, make a persuasion check at advantage. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Don't do a, a mark roll. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this plan is very nice. Hmm, and I have a good idea too. If you are going to Mambala, then... Uh, you see them hit, hit the red slot of a cane. Move up. One of them can join you. If you are going to Mambala. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 What's his, uh, what's his what? name? I'll walk up to it, to the red one. Mm hmm. Uh, you see that the entire time they're just kind of like bouncing b back and forth on their legs, like always oh, jittery. Excited. Can I try to like, um, handshake it? <laughs> um. Yeah, you you uh you get you put out the handshake and it looks offended. What is this one doing? I say it's it's a. Uh... We're friends now. Yes, cultural thing. Don't you understand, you stupid? <laughs> uh, they uh, reach out with their hand back, uh, but they don't shake it. They just kind of put their hand outward as if mimicking what you're doing. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> grab the hand <laughs> and smile at it. It's very slimy. <laughs> That's cool. I, I don't think so. I mind slime. As for, as for the boot slot there, uh, big, hawking, and brutish, you don't see them, like, moving around quite nearly as much. They just kind of, like, uh, glance over at the green one occasionally, awaiting orders. I'll go up to it and also try to handshake it. <laughs> mm. Their hand is massive. It, like, absolutely equips yours. Um, <laughs> like, when they hand. grab onto your hand, it basically, like, grabs almost your whole forearm. <laughs> A gentle giant. <laughs> um, I will ask the green one, what is this item that you were talking about, like, um, that you were trying to give us? Can't even be patient, can you? Yeah, I know, no. right? <laughs> no, I cannot. <sighs> How can Pulls somebody hand gun. This! <laughs> <It's> like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Well, the okay. guy, the, the green one actually is holding some kind of purple thing in his hand. <laughs> I thought it was it's his cool. dinner. It's actually just a yeah. mushroom that's growing on his hand. It looks <laughs> like a precious gem. Um, let me go ahead and see what they would have. 
Calm down there, treasure obsessed one. I'm not obsessed, okay? I seek knowledge. <laughs> no, you don't. You seek shiny things. Okay, that too. <laughs> You're like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you should have made her a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> treasure goblin. Sorry, it's the only thing she cares about. She doesn't even have to use them, she just wants to collect things. <laughs> I even got the mirror of the past to like... To... To like learn more about the items that we're getting. Poor Aqua now has to come up with backstories about everything. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what it was. Yeah, here. You bring me her witch, and I find something we took off another person on our time. Okay, oh. back. I mean, this seems like a good deal. Seems fair. Yeah. It's not so useful for us. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, I mean, you, I think it's a... you have yourself a deal. We will head over there as soon as we can. <laughs> Excellent. You can find me here. Yeah, I will so... be waiting. Wait, hear me I... out on this. What if I just stole it as we left? No, Mark. No. Why? No. I mean, you can try. <laughs> Go for it. Why? We're I don't know. Yeah, yeah, We're going to Mabala anyway. We're come going back to Mabala here. anyways. Well, I have an idea. Now, what if I steal back. it? Now, no. How about we don't steal what if instead? I steal it? It. Wait. So the only question I have though is if we're stealing it, isn't the red guy coming with us? Yeah. What if we okay, all steal it? The odds are little better five v one instead of five v three. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Mark, you're so mean. No, what so happened we don't to need you, to steal it. This is fucked up. <laughs> you're so, well, I thought you were I, neutral. I neutral. Ever... No, I'm not. I'm chaotic neutral. I don't really trust these guys, though. I I I, I really don't. I, we're, no, we're I don't think back. that we're they're out to get it. us. I don't think they're out to get us. Besides, I think like if we befriend them, it might be like better for us in the future. Speaking of green slot, us, but I'm out to get them. You know what I'm the saying? Green, the green slot finally notices the illusion to Yan and whatever. Oh. oh. <laughs> Seem to have passed her tell it and check wrecking it was an illusion. <laughs> uh, so right, which one of these it. two is coming with us? D what is their the traits? One. Um, you gotta get an idea of what they're both kind of like. Let me guess, tanky and fast. <laughs> I, I, Fenval will think at the red one. Uh, what's your name, by the way? I'm Fenval. I voted the giant. Just I just, saying. I just, I just asked what the red one's name was. Sorry. Oh, quickly, name generator. <laughs> Slots name do fortunately have like lists of names that they could potentially have. So his name is Todd John. <laughs> okay, but I did actually have a boss named Jimmy John one time. Huh. <laughs> yeah. We should have like a party full of thieves and all we do is steal shit. <laughs> You're the one telling me not to steal this. I agree. Yeah, I but Mark not the rest of the And wait, these guys second. seem <laughs> these guys seem super cool and I definitely They seem friendly? They're only willing to work with us because we paid them. How is that friendly? They're not our friends. I uh, think we're not gold. stealing. <laughs> well, maybe you're not. We pay- we, we, we literally give them money and then they're like, Ah, you've given us Great money. Sauce. You've paid remember, for the right to work sauce. with us. <laughs> yeah, you, you've paid for the right to do something for us. Like, what? Yeah, but they're gonna give us an item. We can take it! Which we can just take! Okay, no. <laughs> We take it, and then we also take our okay. money back. I am not going to be a part me, of this. 
Mark, if your idea is that you don't want to come back and we bring, are you saying you want to bring, you want to just kill the red guy later when we go to Mabala and not? Well, no, I'm I, saying use the cat or just like lose him along the way. Even no, if you don't kill him, just lose him along the way. No, That's I'm, I'm, I disagree with this. I just don't <laughs> think I just don't think I want to work Most with these guys. Part... They only want to work with us if we pay them. They literally were, but they were going to kill us if we didn't give them money. Well, Listen, no, they were gonna try. My idea they is going to take the blue one. They were going to they try. Would've, they would have fucking lost. No, no, no. <laughs> I got it. I, I know. No, no, I know the idea. We take the blue one. If he's gonna die along the way, at least he's tankier, so it'll take more hits for us. <laughs> I don't think we get to choose. I don't think we get to choose who we bring with us. Uh, you Red do dead. actually. They're oh, allowing yeah. you to bring one person. I okay, just, I, I think we should put this. this to a vote, and I say that we do not steal. Or make enemies with these guys. I say you All do. Right. Vote now on your phones. Vote now okay. for um uh, fight so or Fimble. Fimble, cooperate. Whoa, whoa, I didn't say fight. I said steal. There's a difference. Steal. Oh, okay, steal, steal or cooperate. <laughs> well, we're gonna fight one of them. Well, we're gonna fight one of them, Mark. No, we don't. Necess we don't not need to fight them. We can just lose them a long way, just like we did uh, when we, with the guys yeah, going. Yeah, we're gonna lose period. people that have lived in the forest probably their entire lives. Raise your hands if you want to steal it. And if they do chase us. They Jake. may have lived in the forest forever, but we also have no idea evil. what we're doing. None of us are evil. None of us are Oh my god, it's meat evil. shield mushrooms right that. there. Okay, but they're not exactly good people either. They're fucking... They were going to... They were going to... Well, they haven't actually it. done anything wrong. I, don't I, think that I feel like threatening us is doing something wrong. I don't know. Well, they didn't threaten us. They said if you he want didn't to pass threaten. by he just here... Said... Yeah, if you don't, if you want to pass by here, that I consider to be a threat. If you don't do what we say, we will attack you. That's a threat. He you know, well, maybe a bottle of stain, by the way. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be a 2v2. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have, Bro, have 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 see, by abstaining, this just okay. means that everyone can individually do whatever the hell they want. Fine. How about, how about this one? I, I, have a way to I have a way to solve this. Uh, Buckbeat counts. So we, we steal win. it! Uh, <laughs> if, Buckbeat, if Buckbeat counts, Benvolt changes his vote so it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will veto this action. <laughs> I agree. No, According to, to the house rules. No, the house rule says veto needs to be a majority. This is not a majority. Still, okay, it's... It is split right. right now. It's two I'm two. taking the ring. <laughs> we could, uh... No. We could just flip a coin in and just see what happens. Jake, you gotta break the tie. I really you know what? I think it'll be funny if this goes, it. like, tits up. So yeah, I'll vote that you try to steal it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> However, Benval oh, is not right, taking it's... part of the stealing. So <laughs> not we're not getting any help. Yeah, as far as as far as Jake the player is concerned, Benval is probably clueless and has no idea you're trying to steal. I really don't like this. I also okay. don't like it because this guy What's noticed the, the fucking illusion. Like, how are you gonna Why? steal it? Okay, but the difference is an illusion is an intelligence check. Um, perception is wisdom, so he does not necessarily have a high wisdom. <laughs> how are we, how are we gonna steal it? Just watch. Just What's watch. the plan? <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> we don't have one of those. We don't have one of those, but it'll be fucking hilarious either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would rather work with these guys, especially because yeah, they want to give us another party. Okay, we technically Remember? can still work with them. All I'm saying is, if we do this, and we and if we do want to come back, we can totally convince them that they've lost it and they need to give us something else. Yeah. Like, I still don't feel <sighs> right about this. Just make sure we don't have it on us. <laughs> these guys were threatening, were, were threatening us. I don't like them. I have no oh, reason God. to like them. Like this plan. It's well, that's the thing. It's it's a it's a horrifically bad plan, but that's why it's fun. <laughs> One that's second, let's do a bit of measuring. Hmm. It's literally just this calling is not something for. I would agree with. This is not something I would agree with in character. Uh, yeah, I'm character very strongly awesome. opposed to this, but whatever, I guess. All right, let's see. So if you get, att um... if you get attacked on this, I am not helping you. <laughs> Damn, yeah. I mean, I can I can definitely run. I I, I am I am quick. Let me check. Yeah, but like we have to fight as a party, so it's not like we can just like abandon you. Yeah, we don't have to. You yeah, you don't bet. If, if, if you disagree with what Keon's doing, you could just hang him out to dry. Could you describe how you're attempting to steal it from him? <laughs> so he was like holding the ring out, right? Mm -hmm. Where where what did he do with it after? After they after they um, had it, they have a pouch over on their uh side. Oh, like on their uh, like on their okay. picture, you can see. see the so you said you said he had noticed the illusion and recognized it as an illusion. Can I try and see while he was like focused on that? Uh, th it was only but uh, for a brief fraction there. Let's see. So I got an idea. I can be a distraction. 
<laughs> Could you roll the sleight of hand one more time? Works. Yeah. Jesus right. <laughs> <laughs> Christ! Thirty-five. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that is a large number. <laughs> the the slot uh, focused over at the illusion over at the north just very briefly seems to immediately perceive it as one, and in that exact instant, you manage to reach into the pouch and then take it. Okay, but then... hold on. Uh oh. But... Uh oh. Give me a second. Mm, don't worry. I'll try to. I'll try to talk my way out of it. <laughs> you can. You, you should use your Bardicus, apparently. Dude, imagine we got 135. <laughs> and the dude when... still noticed. <laughs> but when the um uh when the uh green slot returns back to looking over at you. You notice that the blue and red slots also didn't pick up on anything. <laughs> you uh, managed to get the uh, the ring of reaction through the bushes and back over to yourself. Alright, Fenval, wish the nice, uh, nice, scary death lizard men a uh, wonderful day, and let's leave. Well, Take one of us. One of them I look for. Because, I mean, Fenval did not notice this either. There is zero percent <laughs> chance he ever would have seen this. Like, and well, I... as soon as we're done, we will be back here, and... Until then, oh. though. Do you not Shall need we... assistance? I'll definitely take can... the assistance. We can still take the assistance. Oh, well, which fighter do you recommend? I'll ask the green frog. Hmm? May I'm both very good. Different ways. What are well, the different ways? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Did everything go wrong yet? No, no we actually... I rolled a 35. <laughs> we got away with it. <laughs> I think we should take the blue one. Yeah, you, see, you see them uh, look at the muscle on the, the boot. Uh, Mom, I mentioned the muscle on the boot one. Very big, very strong. Uh, Brigas is able to pick up others and hit him. And uh, they point out over to Ranzost. Rensost, quickest around, nobody faster. Hit and run. Okay, so hear me out on this. If something at some point goes south, and we need to abandon them, I would rather abandon the slow one than the fast one. If something goes south. I, I agree. I don't really... That's my opinion. If I something think... goes south. Or, or, if we need someone to be our Kawasha, if something goes that kind of south, then we leave the slow one. So, we have uh, Nick for taking a lot of damage, and also we have like a giant elemental that I can summon. So, do we need a meat shield? Like, I personally like the blue one better, but I also feel like he would be more useful to us. Hey, uh, which of them would rather come with us? Uh, you, uh, you, you, you see, uh, Ransosta just kind of like, alright, I'm really good at it. And as for the blue one, they just keep looking over to the green one for further instruction. I think I should take the red. Well, it looks like Rand Sauce yeah. would rather be with us. Yeah. The red yeah. one, I'm not. You know what? It's mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll take red. So how, how are we going to get rid of him? We're yeah, not we'll getting rid of him! We don't, we don't necessarily need to. I was just. It, we'll figure something. Because like, even if this guy notices he's been robbed, it's not like he can tell Rand Sauce from miles away. We think. We know, of course. Ben's <laughs> all knows, of course. Uh, as uh, the, the green slot uh, goes and just nods and goes, Very well, Ransost, help them out of Mambala. Soon our revenge will be complete. <laughs> what, what did the witch do to you guys? <sighs> witch flew over and then just attacked and then uh, took very important ring for me. We aren't getting it back. Oh, yikes. Okay. We can- wait, okay. So we go kill the witch, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good idea. Alright. Uh, hopefully everything goes- Let's just go in. <laughs> well, I suppose we should be on our way then. Yep. Let's go, everybody. 
Go along, Ransost. Ransost goes ahead and you. I definitely had. Who's your even the book over there? I definitely didn't participate in this. I have no knowledge of it. Oh no, I'm, I'm telling you, Fenball did not notice any <laughs> thievery that was taken on. Okay, give me a second. <sighs> yeah, you all. Like But you are very close over to your destination over the end of the next day. Ransos, for their part, is always kind of like scouting around the edges of you, of where you all are. Right? Always just kind of bouncing to and fro. They seem to have an excess of energy. <laughs> he has too much chakra. I think he just had too much chocolate. Was the problem. <laughs> okay, I think he's high. Well. Hmm. Can we, are we like, checking out that little square beside us first? Or... Yeah, that that was our initial estimations. Mm -hmm. You're getting very close over to uh, your goal. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Roll 20, you have not triumphed over me on this day. As you go and get one more of your jungle rests. Uh, Kion, do you want the pearl? Sure, um... Hey, uh, so there's, uh, there's this, there's this ring, Fenval. I, I don't know if you're, how many two-minute slots you're using right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's a ring of free action, maybe? You wanna, Where you wanna? get that? Oh, oh. Uh, how did you get that? I was You should be careful showing that ring around. You should be careful showing that ring around while the guys. Yeah, of, of the course, guys of course. Yeah, we can, so, but yeah, to be to fair, I, I think this, I, I think the, the green one was the brains. I don't think the other two would notice, but yeah. I will be careful that he doesn't see. Are you not going to use it? No, I'm requires attunement. I'm okay. Do you do you want it? I mean, I've got a free spot. Well, I'm, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to wear it, but <laughs> if you ever want it back, just let me know. All right? Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll I will send some time. <laughs> <to me. laughs> all right, and then over the over the rest, I'll also uh, um. Use the Pearl of Power uh, in the morning. Hmm. Yep. So, and right, you so reattune the other thing. I'll just note that it is missing its charge. Your jungle rest completed. You get around to approximately the area where you had been told by the Ara Portier that something notable may be around here. Would you like to? Ha would you have any way of being able to narrow your search any further? Like, what do you mean? So you know this is the general vicinity of where you're looking for, right? But it's still like, you know, a mile dense. I'm gonna be honest, I forget what we were looking for here. <laughs> the me, me, the, me the player, <laughs> forgets what we were looking for here. That was a couple weeks ago. That's gonna be useful. We're looking, we are looking for a similar thing to the one we found in Mesro, right? That like depicted all of the strange creatures. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll, okay. I will use. I don't know if cartographer stool is gonna be useful here, but if not, then I'll like use uh my investigation and dungeon delver and all that. Okay, use Wait, both no. cartographer tools and investigation. Yeah. Uh, does Azel have any spells? I, I don't. I know rangers have some like <laughs> weird shit sometimes. He I'll also spells, take the mirror. I'll take the mirror of the past and just like shine it on objects that I think would be kind of like interesting to tell me a story about this place. Okay, go ahead and roll the uh, investigation and the uh, cartographer's tools. Okay. Do I have spells? Yes. Do any of them help in a goal of finding this? Not necessarily at the moment. <laughs> I don't think any of the spells that we have put on your sheet really uh, assist with that particular goal. Nah. Yeah, okay. We're just kind of chilling. Okay. So, um, uh, you're looking around, Saga, to see if there's anything that you could map, right? They're looking to see if there is 
perhaps what may be a uh, less dense patch of foliage around that might hide something. And indeed, as you uh, look around, you do find a ruin of some kind that seems to have been detached from a much larger one, though you do not see any of the same stone structures around the area. What is the ruin? Like, is it big? It's fairly large, yes. Larger than, uh, like, about five people for using, like, a measurement of volume. So, like, probably a 20 by 20 foot piece of ruin. Okay, um, I'll get really close to it and see if I can see something <laughs> with eyes of minute seeing. Okay. Using your eyes and minute seeing, you try checking to see if there's anything around, and you find, in fact, a, uh, the crack of where it seems to have been, uh, cut off from, which was mostly obscured by some of the foliage and by the dirt underneath. Using those, combined with her cartographer's tools, you find a, a approximate direction of where you think that it had originally broken off from. And... Oh. <laughs> going further in that direction... I seeing if there's I'm playing Indiana Jones. <laughs> you go ahead and see if there's anything else. And almost as it's defying all logic in front of you, you see a very large temple. I go ahead and get the description for that. Oh no, it's the Temple of Doom. Of Doom. Here's what you all see as uh, a saga leads the way. Should be the icon. <gasps> you were at Is the very. You were at the very base it's of stairs. it. Stairs. Like right stairs. There? Yep, at the very, very base. A massive brick and stone ziggurat rises from the jungle. Two staircases angle up and across the front face, one from the right and the other from the left, to meet you at a landing. Oh, wait, that's, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. Meet you at landing on the second level, 30 feet above your head. That layout repeats on the second level and the third level, but with each successive layer adding less height than the one below it. The jungle enroaches right up to and onto this ancient structure. The first flights of stairs are choked with various uh, kinds of plants, but otherwise, it's mostly dense jungle all around. Um, you're actually even further down here. Oh, oh okay. Here, let me go ahead and place. Well, I suppose we should probably get looking. Hmm? Uh, do I see anything yeah. notable here? <clears throat> Yes, actually. What you notice is that at the ba at the base of the steps, there seems to be uh, some kind of plate with some words of an old moon sit on it. Uh, I feel like I could grab something that might help me here. Hold on. I mean, if you don't, I have comprehend languages. That's if <coughs> the ritual spell or not. It is. Well, sure, so upon, I mean... Upon seeing that, Fenvel will start to cast Comprehend Languages as a ritual. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, go ahead. I'll uh, get go... real close to it, see if there's anything else there. Alright, you go ahead to see if there's uh, much else, but um, uh, around a general vicinity, there is much not else except for this initial plate that's right here. And, noting that, uh, Fenvel, you go ahead and read it. Suddenly, you gain the ability to comprehend the just say, which is the following. Man demanded Uptau's civility, but did not provide it. For this, man received none. Does anyone know who Uptau is? Yeah, it's the same guy uh, that was mentioned previously. Uh, oh, was on it? the okay. statue, on the statue that we were fighting. Yeah, that's okay. it was. Also, uh, we should definitely try not to fight this because clearly that is what it's telling us. Fight what? The building? Uh, anything that's coming. It says 
that he demands our civility, but like if, if we don't provide it, he will receive none. I feel like that is self-explanatory. Um, I will try to like uh, use the mirror to see if there is anything uh, around the plate that can tell me anything more. Okay. Looking around to see if there's anything more, one thing that stands out to you is that Azil, you seem to have a little creature on your shoulder. Oh. It's just sitting there. Oh, it's those good luck things that we saw from the beginning with the masks. The little kid pointed out. How do you remember that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that either. I was paying attention. I remember it was like when we were coming back yeah, yeah, from yeah, no, I know you're about, Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Or literally our first session, yeah. I believe that they were only shown to people uh, something about good luck or something. Okay. What and was Azelle, it's, it's cur Azelle, it is currently sitting on your shoulder. Do you do anything about this? I'm just gonna let it be. Alright. It's just kicking its legs down around. Oh, cute. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Should we explore the place? We'll buy you a nice flying monkey when we get back to port. Well, does the mirror show me anything? Um, uh, what are you trying to use the mirror on specifically? The plate. Oh, on the plate. Uh, let yeah. me see what the mirror to pass specifically says that it reveals. It says... It reveals scenes accurate, from the target's pass. cryptic information. This is a type of divination, I said. Holding the mirror up, it should work. And yet, it doesn't. There's no reason why it shouldn't, but it's just failing here for some reason. As you attempt that, the uh, Twinga, that's what it's called, falls down from Mizel's shoulder down onto the ground. You see it. Um, uh, a little bit more queer clearly, its mask is in the shape of the w of a wing, and it just simply dashes up the steps as fast as it can. I'm gonna follow. And then, it. out of view. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start following it. Like All right, Kiana, you start moving up the steps, and you notice that like sand they crumble beneath your feet, preventing you from being able to get much higher. Okay. I will start moving up the mm. stairs. Same thing happens to you as well, Saga. No matter how fast you run. It crumbles underneath, like fine particles melting away. 30 feet high. Hmm. Um, could I, could Buckby jump up there with the ring of jumping? Can we climb up there? I don't remember how high high jump goes. Well, I'm just, I'm not running it. I'm just going slowly. Right. Uh, one first. Buckby will get 24 height on their uh, ring of jumping, which is not quite enough. Ah. You s okay. slowly go, Saga, and it still just kind of melts beneath you, just like sand. What is it? What is it? Just sand? It feels, it almost feels like sand as you try going up it, but then once you actually back off, it just reforms back into the stair. Do I have you ever seen anything like this before? No, this is whatever kind of magic this is is extremely unusual and unheard of. Okay. Do you think we'd be able to climb that wall next to the stairs? You could try. Ben Bubble okay. has detect magic as a reason. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you detect magic? Also, uh, do I see anything in the, like, uh, tethered to the ethereal plane here? Uh, in the ethereal plane? You notice that you can't see into the ethereal plane here. I was... I think, uh, magic is blocked off here. What should I be? The one stuff I cast on me worked. Um, I'm going to, uh, use my Molt Earth to create a platform right there. Um, it's like, um, not exactly on the stairs, but like floating about 15 feet. So that I jump on the platform and then jump off of it with acrobatics. Can you jump 15 feet high? Uh, I believe so. I doubt it. I doubt About it. 45 speed. It's not your speed, it's your strength. Yeah, their ability uh, to high jump is three plus your strength modifier. Yeah. I have two on strength, and it's on my, my proficiency, so I don't know. Wait, why is my strength proficiency? It's probably your strength save that's proficient. Yeah. Yeah, amongst those strengths, too. 
Mm. As you're uh, sitting sit there and thinking and looking around, Mushro goes, what? How long have those been there? Looking backward, as all of you look back, you see that there, the trees have a bunch of red parrots inside of them. Mm. Uh, anyone else speak with animals? I'm gonna try and t yeah. make it telepathically with one. Right? Uh, you, yeah, you're a Kalashnar, so you can do that, Kion. Uh, well, yeah. You communicate telepathically with one of them. Alright, um, I just want to... I just wanted to fly closer to me, that's it. I just want to see if I can convince it to come closer. Right. Um, you request one of them to get closer. It tilts its head at you, and in fact does. And uh, lands on your shoulder. That's all I wanted. You can go ahead, Adele. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> you can speak with one if you want. I just wanted to see if one would fly closer. Wait. Okay. Do I'm I... going to speak to the bird. Mm. Right. So you're using speak of animals, I'm guessing? Yeah. Mm. Alright. You can now speak with the uh, parrot. <clears throat> Wait, what are we asking them? Mm -hmm. What are you asking here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a parrot would know about the magic in this area. I thought that was what we... That was what the plan was! <laughs> I mean, you can ask them. Maybe they know something. <laughs> okay, I'll ask them. Do you know how to get up the temple and then point at the temple. The bird chirps at you in such a way as to say man demanded Utah's ability but did not provide it. For this man received none. Hmm. Interesting. And then it squawks. How does somebody even provide civility anyway? I mean, I feel like we're being polite. Uh, hey, Utah. Uh, would it be okay for okay. you if we came in to the temple? I'm trying to ask the bird, who is Ubitao? Asking the bird, it simply repeats its response over to you. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> Fenba will is, uh, knock on the. Like, like... I was. Can we ask our lizard friend if he's strong enough to throw Fenbill up there? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They uh take a they take. Uh, you speak telepathically with them. It seems that anytime you direct your thoughts over at them, it's possible. Let me go ahead and see what they can do. Uh, um, they go, No, but I am fastest! <laughs> they try running up the stairs and fall, fall flat uh, into the sand. The sand thing. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how high was he able to get up? Hmm? Uh, not very far. Like, it could get about, like, 10 okay. feet before just immediately just kind of crumbled beneath them. And now on their back, right? While they're just kind of prone there, uh, lying in shame. The twink is just on their back again with its wing shaped mask. Okay, question. If I cast Puppet, since I can, it's, it's, something's not trying to move, it's being forced to move, can I use that to ignore the uh, the effects of that? Um, To ignore which effect? Like the. them not, uh, not being able to run up that. Uh, could you put the puppet back? Yeah, you could uh make something run up the steps, but that doesn't mean it would like succeed at running up the steps, so you can make an attempt to run up the steps up to the speed. Okay, what if after Buckbeak jumped I pushed him with Mei Chen? Mei Chan's book push people. So you're saying you're you're saying Buckbeak will jump twenty-four and then you'll use your mage hand to lift it up into the air fifteen feet more to clear the rest of the way? Not lift the full 15 feet, yeah, like lift it enough to get it the rest of the way. Yeah, that should be possible if you use jump, right? Because uh, if Bugbeak jumps 24 up and then you push them upward at an angle 15 more feet, they, a Bugbeak can create a distance. Do you want to try that, Tekus? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Can I try right. something first? Right. We're gonna use. Oh, uh, yeah, you, what do you no. want to try? Um, I was gonna like unarm everything that seems aggressive, just like put it away. And I'll try to, to walk again. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm trying it. I'll okay, so you're trying to climb up with the, uh, after putting away your weapons? And yeah, the light? everything that I have that's aggressive just gone. I'll try to be civil. Mm -hmm. And the As most you... uh, clear 
way possible. You try that, and still, the stare turns into Sam beneath you as the Twingo with the wing-shaped mask just kind of bounces on your head and then just runs up the steps just fine by itself. Can we talk to it? This is an animal? It is not an animal. Can I talk with it? Um, yeah, yeah, you can attempt to. Okay, I would like to do that. And mm -hmm. if that's possible, I would like to ask it what it knows about these stairs. You ask the Twingo what it knows about the stairs. And then you see it point over at its mask, which is in the shape of a wing. And then it runs off. A wing. <clears throat> and there's parrots here. I think we gotta fly. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, you, you have a parrot. Why don't you try walking up? Sure, I'll try walking up with a parrot. A I'll try walking okay. up with a parrot around uh, next to me. All right, uh, Keon, with the parrot on your shoulder, you find that you can walk up the stairs just fine. Sure. Wait, I expected I expected her to fall. What do you mean that worked? <laughs> um, I will try to like get one of the other parrots to to come to me. How would you like Wait, to do that? that? I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna like take off a bit of the, of uh, today's rations and give it to the parrot. Uh, you give it one of your rations, Con, and then you see it like peck at it and eat a little bit of it, and then at, if as it flies away, almost as if intentionally, one of its red feathers lands right into your hand. Okay, I will. I will take a ration out and try to like get one to come to me. Hmm. Aqua, I'm gonna try walking down the stairs with the red feather in my hand. Yep, you can walk down just fine with it inside of your hand. As Saga, you try to uh, feed another one, another one of the rations. You see them all just kind of tilting their heads over at you. Fenval, upon upon seeing that Kion can safely walk up and down with the feather, will go, "Oh, then I'll be fine." And he'll <laughs> pluck one of the feathers out of his hat and go, "See," and just start to try to walk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you fall fa face first uh. as you try to. Go up the steps confidently. Good enough. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back into my. <laughs> did I manage to get one or no? They did not seem interested in your particular rations. Mark, uh, can I you will like take speak Keon. Um, what if I can, uh, what I if can... I pass you the rope of climbing? Well, no. What I was gonna say, I don't can think you... we want to force our way up here. What I was gonna say is, um, yeah. I can see, I so. I can try giving someone else the feather while standing up here using mage hands. I'm just worried that if I relinquish the feather, uh, it might, you know, then. Bird will be. Can you try to might, communicate you know, with one of the other birds that you see? I, I can't because it has, a, it has a 10 foot range. Oh. Uh, um, I will use. I will it? use one of the just mask of the beast feather. charges to try to cast oh, animal friendship on one of the parrots. All right. Yeah, just, uh, go ahead. Uh, right, right, right. You're about to do that, Fenville. What you see is that your uh, red slot companion here just like reaches up and grabs one of the feathers off the parrot. It's easy! <laughs> I'm they not just that walk fast, up. my friend. Um, as for you, Fenville, as you uh, cast Animal Friendship, you see that uh, one of the parrot in particular flies over to you. Hello, my friend. How are you? Does the mask have attunement? I can still oh, speak no. to the parrot. I can so be, tell, the parrot. Tell can I the, ask one of the parrots to get on me and help me get up the stairs? Tell them to get on all of us. Say, we will give you... I will climb yeah. up the stairs with my parrot. Say, could you help us out? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll ask them if they can help us out and help us all get up the stairs. Alright, with your animal friendship, um, you uh, see only one parrot fly over to you and land on your shoulder, though. <laughs> Can, hey, we can we move the, the Mask of Animal Friendship around? The Mask of the Beast? Yeah, that's what Fenwell's doing. He'll just sort of toss the Mask of the Beast down to the people still down there. Alright, I'll grab. It only has a couple more uses left. Okay, I'll put it on and try to get a parrot on me. Alright, uh, in what way are you attempting to persuade them to just do that? Are you just saying, get on me? Uh, no, let's <laughs> say, hey, you. Buddy, do you want to be friends? Oh, and one of the pairs. Sincerely, sincerely mean it, by the way. Like, if it will <laughs> stick around with me, I would gladly have it. The parrot does fly over onto your shoulder as well. And you find a safe passage upstairs. I will give 
the mask uh, to Tychus and move up with the parrot. <laughs> I'm worried Buckbeak might get stuck down there. <laughs> I'm an... Buckbeak is a bird, Buckbeak like what do you want? want? <laughs> that is true, wait, Buckbeak true. is a bird. <laughs> but Buckbeak uh, but I, one yeah, of these well, I, will, I will follow after Kian's example and give it some food after it helps me up. Yeah, same. <laughs> what if I and command just Buckbeak to use a map? <laughs> <laughs> Buckbeak can carry me up. Alright, uh, Buckbeak, on your insistence, he uses the mask. And although they aren't very good at doing it, like you just kind of t like almost like a dog, right? You just tell them to do something and they try their best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can't really understand anything Buckbeak is saying, but a parrot does fly over onto Buckbeak and lands like on them. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> We're going up. <laughs> uh, Bushra will Bushirib. stay down. <laughs> We'll be right back, Mushroom. Don't worry. We'll right Take your time. Hi. How do you guys okay. think Buckbeak would look with a mask on? <laughs> it's horrific. I will collect my <laughs> rocks that were unsuccessful and put them back in my inventory. So are these like rooms here, like buildings that we can enter? Yeah. What do uh, I? What do I see? What do my eyes see? Uh, <laughs> entering <laughs> in the. the, the Entering in, the most notable aspect about them is how clean and completely empty they are. Oh, no, I don't lie. Oh, I hear clean no. room. Oh, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> PTSD <laughs> from Queen. I'll walk okay. in, in here and try to see something in dark. I mean, given given how nicely nice and neat this stairs were, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some magic keeping them clean, so... Or maybe Hopefully there's somebody actually form. living there. Yeah. And by the way, Aqua, if my bird does flutter away and leave me with a feather, Fenval will stick it into his hat with the other feathers. All right, you have a red feather inside of your hat. Massive. Did my <laughs> bird leave? I tried to get it to stay with me. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what you said to it, it too ended up leaving after eating some of your rations. Okay. Oh my god, they're just here for the food. <laughs> I will put my feather uh, on the like chain that I'm wearing. Like, kind of tie it together. Looking, looking up oh, further same. ahead, you see that there is another set of stairs up, 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 up ahead that also extends similarly a little above 30 feet high. While looking through, the most notable thing about the stairs is that they appear to be covered completely with thorns from top to bottom, and there is yet another place, which, Benvo, I imagine with your comprehend languages, were able to decipher. And this one... Unlike the first one down there, appears to have some of its wording partially chipped off. And it says, Man demanded Utausch trust, but did not provide. Well, clearly um, we have to. Yeah, I we have to show I... that we're trustworthy. Can I try to Maybe, see yeah. if there is like any remains anywhere that can be pieced together? Like anything that's like broken or the like? Yeah, like around. Or is there a way for me to like um mold in such a way to like see the rest of the words? I don't know. Um, there is one thing that is notable. Uh some just looking around, right, around to see if there's anything that's broken. On the side over here, you look about and see that there are not eight drawings there, and one of them appears to have fallen off. And these drawings look very familiar. They appear to be the same nine that you saw back over at Mesro, with the exception of a missing frog Oh, that's hmm. the only one that we, Do we have. have. Wait, yeah, can we try and see if it interacts with our frog? There's the cube. I believe that I have it, yeah. Yeah, we still have it. We stuck in yeah. the bag of holding. You pull out this uh, very large cube and attempt to slot it against where the missing uh, drawing is. Dude, However, dude. nothing. Hmm? Dude, is there uh, ethereal um, bonds to the rest of the plates? You cannot see into the ethereal plate right now. Oh, right. So I can't However... see the bonds that are mm -hmm. on the front camera either. You cannot. And as you are trying to kind of slot it there, you look down into the jungle below and you see that there is actually that the face of this frog Kima painting has just kind of fallen all the way down to the ground below. 
Huh? How how big are these? Rock are these uh stones? Um, it's like an uh, inscription essentially that's on the uh, side of the wall over here, for example, like as such. Oh. With with each of the drawings near um uh situated as such, and one of them, the one with the frog hemoph, appearing to have fallen at some point down to the ground below. So it's it's on the side of the building. We um can we go down and like take like grab the inscription? Mm -hmm. Like whatever the remains of it. You go ahead and uh, head down to the uh, ground floor again with your federates of no issue whatsoever. You pick it up, slot it against the wall, and it magically bonds back. While they're doing that, Fenval's pretty sure he's solved the riddle, which means it probably hasn't. Uh, it's just asking for us to trust Uptau, which means obviously we can just step on the thorns yeah, without problem. I was, so I was thinking gonna... that, but that seems too easy. Oh. Fenvel's just gonna close his eyes and step onto the thorny steps. Alright, Fenvel, you step onto the thorny steps and uh, you see them literally growing in front of you in order to uh, harm you. You take five points of damage as it slices okay. at you. Ow, ow, okay, that wasn't correct. Ow. Ow. But I am on the steps there. Yes, you're not impeded from, like, going um, uh, up, only that there are still more turns in front of you, and... Not quite so many behind you. See any um anywhere that they the thorns are connecting? Uh, they are literally just growing off of the sides of the steps. Okay. Can I dismount it like a trap? Dismantle. You'd like to see if there's any uh source of these to be able to dismantle, but you see no such thing. However, what you do see is that right between you and Fenvo, as you're looking around, you see another Twinka right here. What it, does it have? This one has a mask on it as well, but the circular mask is covered with scratches and cuts. And all it does is it just kind of dances and runs past Fenvo, through the thorns, past oh, them to the point that you can no longer see it, obscured out of vision, and gone. It's covered in scratches and cuts, eh? Well, so I think that you have the right Fenville's idea. Gonna, Fenville's gonna take a couple more steps up the stairs. Alright, Fenville, you continue to move upward up on the stairs, then you proceed to take even more damage as the thorns continue to grow even further in front of you. You take 10 points of damage. <laughs> Ow. Guys, I'm not sure this is right. I'm not gonna lie. Can, well... what, is the, what happened here, by the way, after it came back in place? Did something happen? It is now on a wall again. Just nice and clean, as if it was once as it originally was. Then when you notice that while not moving, nothing is uh, happening. The thorns aren't like actively attacking you or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pleasant of them. Stand here. Hello, like, I'll, I'll stand on the stairs, but not move. Alright, you do. You stand so still, you become invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to try keeping, uh, like, moving on, Fenwell? Maybe you just have to... Keep going? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I mean... <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea, but... <laughs> I don't see if no I idea. if I just like fall unconscious and fall down all the way down the stairs, I may die. Is the only problem. Well, I think we can mage hand you down. Yeah, if something happens, I can prevent you from falling, and then we can maybe okay. pick something up. We I mean, do also, it, like, if you don't want to, like, here? believe me, believe me. If you don't want to, you don't well, have I'm to. Pretty I'm pretty sure. I mean, look, here. this is a this is a trust challenge, right? Yeah. yeah, I have to trust that Wubtau isn't going to kill me when I get to the top of the stairs, or on the way there. How much stairs are left, anyway, for the thorn <laughs> stairs? You, you, you're looking, you've only gone about, like, 12 feet up. Oh my god. How many feet in total? 30-ish. Dude, my... Uh, right, I swear this always I'm going happens. to take, I'm going okay, to wait, take wait. a few hold more on, hold steps. On, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Azel has good berry, I believe. So yeah. maybe <laughs> you should use... He uses good berry and you use some good berries. I mean, I could, oh, I could heal myself too. I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah, both. Both. 
Also, uh, tie a rope around you. No, don't tie a rope around. Just... Why not? I, because, listen, if this riddle is about trust, then what if the idea is you're supposed to fall unconscious and then you're just... That's, that's you're right. Time. You're right. That's brilliant. I'm not going to take any of your dies. And then we'll start walking up the stairs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, Fenville, you begin moving up the stairs further. As you get to about here, you take another 15 points of damage as thorns continue to hit you. Uh, 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 the thorns are getting so dense at this point, it's becoming difficult for the rest of you to see them. Are you okay up there? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. Oh. <laughs> Never better. <laughs> so you really think it's I have to fall unconscious, yeah? I'm not sure. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm not okay, sure. Okay, okay. If he falls unconscious and we don't solve the riddle, who's gonna go get him? I'll do it. Yeah, please have someone do it. Alright, I'm gonna keep walking now, and Fenfell will keep walking. <laughs> Alright. So, the next one's gonna knock. Fenfell, you continue uh, to move up the stairwell to the point where the others can no longer see you as you proceed to take some more points of damage. <laughs> How much? <laughs> His token's Some. gone. There's His token's amount. gone. <laughs> okay, well, um... My turn. Hold on. Uh, My turn. Is it difficult to terrain? Um, it's kind of difficult, as in, uh, it's certainly difficult to move through the thorns, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I don't know if that's if that's not I mean, it. I, don't I know could I could start going up by using the ring of jumping again. Yeah, I'm just I'm just worried that some kind of magic is going to prevent us. Yeah. yeah, I'm just worried that some kind of magic is going to prevent us from cheating. I well, also I don't. don't think right, then, I, mean, that... I, have most, I have the most health, so then I thirty can feet, go. right? Yeah, it's thirty feet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. So Amelia will go across the stairs. Alright, so you're going to try and Misty step up? Yes. Uh, as, Azel, you Misty drive. step up. You are 10 feet up and you take 5 points of damage. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> it's got the counter! <laughs> what is happening underneath? Uh, oh. like if, I, if I go underneath, what happens? Underneath what? The door? And like, uh, if I start following where um, Azel is. Um, like, following behind them, you see more thorns continue to grow in the place as you take five more points of damage. Okay. I mean, I'm not technically, like, all the way up there. Do I still take that? Yeah. As you were following, uh, behind, uh, uh, Azel to some extent. Okay. And we still have no idea what happened to Fimble. <laughs> nice, thank you. Okay. Can, yeah, I, uh... can I try to see if, like, uh, there yeah. is... Um, the little masked boy. Whoa, why do they have to be boys? Whatever. The Is little masked spirit? Yeah. The ma little, yeah. Look around for your, the uh, Twinga, but Twinga is nowhere to be seen. Honestly, uh, I'm just gonna like dash up. Yeah, I think I'll try to like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you do have to get all the way to the top, maybe we should have someone take it, Barry, because maybe it's just you have to get to the top. Maybe we, maybe well, you should I'm take some sure good berries. I'm pretty sure I can get up, I can get up there without dying. Yes, I, I think if anyone's going to do it, Taika should do it. I feel like we should dance. Uh, I'll try to kind of like crazy? move around. <laughs> You, you start doing a little jig there on the stairs. The little thorns around you do a little jig too. In a non-threatening manner. Uh, a non-threatening manner? Okay, I'll start dancing around. You think around, we can so. speak to the plants? Yeah. I'll just start right. dancing and going upwards. Yes, you dance upward as the thorns dance around you, cutting your skin and dealing at 10 more points of damage. Azel, <laughs> uh, there's a spell called Speak of Pants. Uh, okay. Speak with pants, <laughs> damn. Yeah, pants. <laughs> yeah, okay. and unfortunately, our speak with plants, uh, our speak with the person who knew that is, uh, 
In the in the mouth of a plant, actually, in the belly of one. I actually yeah. unlearned it too. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I will. I will use like um. I'll use my healing. My key yep. healing. No. What the fuck is it called? Sorry, hold on. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not gonna use anything. I'm just gonna keep going, dancing. All right. Yeah, dancing up, you proceed to take another 15 points of damage, and you are becoming extremely difficult to see uh, from everybody else's perspective. Did you move my thing? Yeah, I, you're not all the way at the top yet. You're getting close, but you've taken another uh, 15 points. I'll go with the track. The, it's becoming so dense, you can't even see in front of you. If Fenville is up there, you can't even see their corpse uh, body. <laughs> uh well, I'm definitely alive up here. Yep. Okay, I'll use my healing at this point. Hold on. What the fuck is it called? Does anyone remember what the key healing is called? Why the fuck would we know what it's called? No. <laughs> Why would we know? Like I, do not in, I do not actually remember what the feature name is, sorry. Uh, quick and healing. Uh, <laughs> two key points and all the martial arts die. You gain a number of hit points equal to the number rolled plus proficiency bonus. Martial arts die is my D8, right? Uh, yes, your current martial arts die is a D8. Okay, plus my proficiency bonus, which is three. I also have temporary HP, by the way, so I'm at 32. Well, no one. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did have temp HP. Mm -hmm. And so plus 37. five, so 37. Yeah, I'm at 37 HP. Are you gonna try? There's a, a massive wall of thorns in front of you. Hmm. Um, I'll on try. On. Uh, can I try casting mold earth underneath me? Uh, if you pull out your bag of dirt and you have a uh, mold earth beneath you. Okay, uh, like to go up like five feet in the air, see if I can see anything there. You move uh, five feet forward and then wave of thorns just slices into you, dealing 20 damage. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think that they want me to do that. Alright, I'm going up. <laughs> Are we just going one at a time? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if not... this is smart, I don't know. Nope, I'm doing it. Oh, you're going go with Buckbeak? Well, yeah, I would assume so. Uh, okay. I still think <laughs> someone <laughs> should take... <laughs> Trampled along the way. <laughs> I still think someone should take some good berries, just saying. In case we but... have an unconscious person up there that needs some good berries. I got an idea. Tychus and Buckbeak, um, t as uh, both... Uh, Buckbeak on your side, uh, you uh, take five points of damage as well from all the slicing. It even manages to rope past your armor, just to hit every exposed point on you, just to deal the damage. Is it Dude, the okay. thorns are so my you don't even make okay, attack I gotta, I gotta subtract this every time. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cast Good Berry. Well, it, just pass it, me from and I'll... Is it magical? Yeah. Okay. It works, you, the Good Berry happens. Okay, I'll we give them to Tychus, and I'm gonna go down the yeah. get off the stairs. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is now your problem. I'll call, I will you, try you to... give him all ten berries? Yeah. Hmm? I will try to go up the rest of my movement. Alright. Uh, you all see uh, Saga completely uh, disappear from view as they get enveloped by thorns and take another 25 points of damage. Two of your party members are gone. Roll for initiative. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, you take another... Uh, dashing all the way up there, you hear Bugbeak whimpering as both of you take... With the combined uh, 25 points of damage from that distance. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm at 26. He's at. Uh... Why am I. My brain. I'm brain farted. Oh, there we go. Okay. Your, your red slot companion is just looking at all of this with very visible confusion. We're doing fine. And, uh, I guess we're gonna clear the rest. 
All right. Eat, eat, some, eat some good berries. Eat some you okay, see yeah, this? Sorry, I'll, I'll oh. eat some good berries and use my uh, my healing surge. All right. <laughs> Jake, I sent you something on uh, Discord. What is my healing or my fucking second one? What is it again? One d ten. One d ten plus. Nine plus fire level seven, so that's sixteen HP. Does Buckbeak also have that? Nope. Oh. I'm worried for him. He's got mounted surge, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna clear the rest of them out of the way. Alright. Clearing up just a little bit further. They uh, lash out with incredible intensity as you and Buckbeak take another 30 points of damage. Will you clear out the rest of the way? Uh, sorry, we take 30 each? Yes. What Is the he why are we taking more damage? <laughs> You notice that as you get closer and closer to the top, the intensity of the thorns continues to grow. We also took 30 damage at once. <laughs> it's a uh, percent max HP damage. <laughs> are, they, are they at the top, um, Aqua? No, they're almost there, but there's but what there's like another the actual wall that's so thick they can't even see anything past it. You don't see Soggy, you don't see um uh, Benville. All right. Well, wait. Why didn't my HP change? Go down. Uh, I'm gonna eat, uh, I'm gonna eat You're gonna spend a minute eating good berries? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat eight of the ten good berries. <laughs> yeah, like, nom nom nom. As long as you're not, like, moving forward, you notice the thorns are not scraping against you anymore. Uh, and, uh, we're gonna go Geronimo. <laughs> uh... See you later, guys. Uh, Buckbeak and Tychus move past, taking another 40 points of damage. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Dude, it's just, it's based on your hit die. It's really... I swear, oh, it is. it's the it max is. HP As you're walking now. up the stairs, you hear Silver of the Moon. <laughs> God, I was what like, now? oh, I'm fine. You guys took, you guys took 20 on the last, Fenville took 20 on the last one. Here, I'm taking 40. I took 25 on the last. Sorry, I'm taking 30, please. You guys want to go up now? <laughs> Uh, it's up to you guys. This is not the hallway of doom. This is the stairway of doom. Um, <laughs> I just I can't think of any like other solutions to this riddle. I... Mark, do what your heart desires. Yeah, my <laughs> heart tells me like... that I want to keep Keon alive. Well, <laughs> just make a decision. Do uh, you think is I'll make a decision for you. No. <laughs> I mean, you could try. We stay here. Nothing, nothing's happening. Like, we stay here. <laughs> okay, well, nothing's happening at this point in time. No, -uh, nothing is happening. You hear nothing up above. You just see your red slot companion just kind of looking at their fetter, and I go, "Hmm, why is black? Why is red like me? How is black better?" Hmm. Wait, the feather just try it. Yeah, you notice that their fetter is black. You're, you and Azels are still red though. It's probably because he, he tried to east stole it. You could yeah, just, just try something, Mark. You know, you could try, like, I don't know, Rose did a jig. Why don't you uh, play music for it or something? <laughs> I'm not very good at that, unfortunately. Mark, I can, if I you can wanna... try stealing from it. I'm pretty good at that. Mark, if you want to <laughs> stay down there and keep Ugh. your character safe, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out anything, like, which, I don't know. I, what are you guys, Uh, I'm not going up there. That's what you're asking. <laughs> you know, those thorns hurt. I don't know why everyone else is walking up. <laughs> those loons. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's because the <laughs> You're saying like I said it. You're saying like I said accusatorily. I went first. Like, <laughs> honestly, the reason why I went up is because. The spirit's masks was like completely scratched, and uh, there's no other explanation than go up and die. You know what, what if I mean? the spirits just have like 300 hit points and they're fine to go up? <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> the debunks the debunks the percent HP theory. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I don't know. I feel like oh, whatever. You guys have to make a decision. I'll fuck up. Would it be a five? Well, oh, Zilla decided way. to stay down there. Oh, what about you, Kion? Room. <laughs> I just, I don't really think that's the solution. There's gotta be something else that we missed. And I'm trying to think of something. Right, we'll what give it a little bird? bit long. Uh, what, yeah, what's I mean, another bird? Yeah, there's nothing up here at all that seems like 
at all related? There's not. You do see that the uh, the red slot tries to go up a bit, gets pricked by the thorns, and it's also just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. And kill your character. Then, uh, over on a third level, emerging from the thorns, that simultaneously, <sighs> despite ascending at different points. All three okay. of you up there, and with Buckbeak as well, feel fine. Not a scratch. Not a scratch on you. Oh. Should've trusted the thorns, Mark. Okay, the well... Three... Wait, can we see them? No, nope. they're, they're completely obscured entirely. In fact, this is happening at the exact moment as you and Azil are deciding whether or not to go up. Okay. Three of them up here notice the following. There is yet but one more plate and one final set of stairs. These stairs are covered with extremely oh, extremely <laughs> poisonous looking snakes. As is tradition, you look over at the plate itself and you see the following uh, there, Fenville. But this one's blank. This, this isn't helpful at all. Poisonous what? snakes, you say. I'm going in. Wait, Saga, Saga. Wait, I'm what? These things have been magical. Oh, what? This one's mask have. Hold on. <laughs> you just like you look over to your right, Benvo. Oh, we got. What this one's uh, mask happens to have on it is a swirl pattern on it. It hops off gently, kind of doing a cartwheel toward the snakes. It kneels down over to one of them, and you see it mo mime the motion for whispering to it, though it itself does not make any noise. The snake suddenly slides under its mask. It convulses on the ground, suddenly stiffens out, and then, like a snake itself, just kind of slitters up. All the way up. All the way that up. That is disturbing. Okay, that one was weird. I don't... What could, what will... could that even mean? Okay, you I will demanded do a cart... house slither on the ground like a snake, but didn't provide it? How is that will... helpful at all? I will do, um... Like, uh, the little cartwheel it did and get on the ground next You're to You're gonna mimic snakes. it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do exactly what I did. I wanted whispers, so I'm just gonna say Uptow or something. <laughs> you say Uptow and you hear a boom, the voice boom out all around you. Your own oh. voice for all to hear. But Can only on this level. No. It was a very soft whisper. It was, but it boomed out regardless. Jeez, calm okay. down, loud mouth. <laughs> I think we're not supposed to speak. Well, I, mean, I need a I need a stiff yeah. one. You guys, uh, I'm gonna use my alchemy jug to make some beer. You guys want any? No. Is now the time to be drinking? Yeah, yes, no, I uh, do. Man, yeah. I demanded to tell silence, but did not. Um, yeah. But did not provide it for this man to receive none. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it, actually, it does because you know you don't receive silence. It's just like a boom of your own voice. I will. Uh, gonna, I will fine, also I, mimic the. Uh, the thing, by the way, except when I'm whispering towards the snake, I'll be whispering just mouthing words. Like, hey, can I climb the stairs? But I'll just be mouthing it. You mouth, you mouth with words and uh, nothing happens. The snake uh, is like looking at you, but uh, as soon as you finish speaking, it just like lays its head back down. Okay, well, they're friendly at least. I'm going to take a drink of my beer. Can I, um... you want any? You want some beer? Oh yeah, sure. Here you go. This bug beak drink. Thank you for having um, much. I I I don't know what his diet's like, so I'm gonna say no just at a safety. <laughs> bug beak only only takes shots, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if it's if it's not whiskey, he's not interested. <laughs> I'll try to be like as quiet as possible with my movement and everything. I repeat the same thing, but not mouth anything. Just get close to it and kneel. You see the snake looking at you as if expecting something. Fucking can't speak with animals, man. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I, right I don't know how to speak with animals. I, I like... think Fen Fenival's on the right idea. Fenival, just keep going that path that you're doing. Okay, so I I will again lean towards the snake. <laughs> the 
Poor snake. <laughs> the snake uh, le uh, leans its head towards you as if expecting something. And I guess I'll just sort of do a little slither motion. <laughs> it put the head back down after you do the slither motion. How about <laughs> if I uh, open my mouth so it can go inside? Oh, no. The snake does not enter your mouth. <laughs> hey, the solution was not for. <laughs> um, There's a lot of ideas here. Fuck you. What, but none of you have actually tried going up. You just. Mark, I don't want to get. Well, I'm poison immune. You're poisoned. So I, gonna... I don't want to, like, cross Upto or whatever. Fenval's going to take some of his rope and <laughs> sort of, like,. Use it as a, almost like a makeshift gag for himself. <laughs> I'm gonna offer one of the snakes a silver coin. It seems un uninterested in your material uh, How about the tribute. Food. Food. Okay. I honestly Same thing with the food. Walk, I think if you tried walking up. I will, uh, it... actually, before before I gag myself, Fenval will just sort of <laughs> mouth the words like. Yeah, you can have my silence, and then try to walk up, I guess. I do uh, say you can have my silence. You hear your voice booming out. You can hear. You can have my silence. Okay. And I'll try oh, walking up regardless. Uh, the snakes start hissing at you, and uh, okay. like. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> what was the mask? It was like a little swirl. Uh, yeah. The fuck does it demand? I mean, I'm guessing it is a silence, but what do you want me to say? Do we see what in mouth is? Yeah, just, be just try walking up without doing anything. You try walking up without doing or saying anything, and it hisses at they begin hissing at you violently. Okay, so they want something. Can you repeat what happened with the snake? I'm sorry. Um. With the, yeah, with the spirit? I, as you think that, another Twinga actually just emerges on your shoulder. Oh, it's actually uh, almost exactly identical to the previous one. I will wave at it. It waves back. And then it like pretends to giggle, but it clearly makes no sound. But it heads down next to the snake. It kind of leans down and mimes emotion as whispering something to the snake. Can and we then... like, see what it's whispering? Like, Can we see it's miming? It has no mouth, in fact, if you look at it. Can we but speak it... with it? Like, is it a spirit? I don't think it wants us to speak. Like, maybe if fucking Mark came up here, he could telepathically talk to it. I mean, and Kion still has no idea that you all are not dead, so... Yeah, I know. Keon's mourning his friends down there. <laughs> mm. They're all yeah. after, after pretending to um, uh, ma it's pretending to whisper something over to it. Once again, the snake enters its mask. It stiffens up, convulses, and then slides up the stairs like a. How tall are these last sets of, set of stairs? Uh, they are about tw uh, like ten feet ish. It's not that far. Okay, I'm just. They're just covered in snakes. Mark and I are just gonna jump. Uh, uh, are you sure you want to do that? Yep. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Get right they jump up. <laughs> the snakes are unable to um uh, like hiss and latch at them. I feel like we need to res solve all three riddles. I don't know. I'd rather not cheat this. Um, well, I'm up. So well, Tychus is jumping up. Fenval will sort of just try to <clears throat> mimic what it what the thing did. So he'll just lean down mime like he's whispering something uh he'll think at it you can have my silence that's literally what i was gonna do yeah. and then he'll wait Open to see if the snake does anything hmm? uh if you say you can have my silence it booms out once well, again i'm, not, think I'm right? not saying it, just think. oh you're just thinking it like you can yeah. have my silence mm -hmm. um uh, you see the snake is still looking at you as if expecting something and i am i am miming like the whispering towards it mm-hmm it still looks like it's uh, expecting something. It specifically is even looking to see if you're saying anything. Like its eyes are focused on your mouth. Uh, I mean, Fenval will, I guess, 
still not oh, say anything, but like just mouth. Like Ubtau, take the silence. <laughs> Ubtau, take the silence. You hear your voice. Well, I'm not. I'm specifically not trying to say. I'm just trying to mouth it. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I still hear the voice. Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that was loud. Okay, so you I don't can... need to mouth it, but. I guess what's what's up there anyway? Can we see Tychus up there I... actually? Uh, Tychus, you see in front of you is a chamber that extends past a uh, past a dark tunnel of sorts. It's hard to see exactly what's inside the chamber from this distance, so. I'm gonna light a torch and go inside. Alright, Tychus goes inside. Oh boy. Alright, Saga, we need Tychus. to get up there. Yes, what could we possibly mouth? I'm just gonna do the same thing, and, but, like, just, uh... Like... Peek snake at them. <laughs> There's gotta be something to the. There's gotta be something to the snake entering their mask. I don't know. Is there? Yeah. Is there any anything else that I see around here? I'm all looking around to see uh, for anything of a note. Let me think. There's something. Give us mm. a hint. Give us a hint. But we might be wrong from the get go. It might not even be about silence. Maybe we have to yell it. Because thinking about it, we never heard the creature. Did you guys... heard the creature speak before? Saga, you have, um, uh, yeah, you have eye quality and you have, uh, investigation proficiency, right? Did you have yeah. investigation, Fenpo? Uh, I think I do. Let me double check. I do. Alright. Both of you try to see if there's anything on the actual plate itself that may be able to assist and uh you, you like look at the part of it that has been uh, scratched and scraped off trying to be able to piece together what kind of letter might be following uh right afterward so you're straining right and like kind of piecing together various different way things both of you go ahead and roll an investigation check uh, i'll give saga a bardic inspiration before mm -hmm. just, that... just a d8 one <laughs> you have to specify that it's just a D8. <laughs> yes, I do. Alright, oh. but you're trying, like, trying to piece together what could it be? What could it be? But no. Saga! <laughs> okay. Saga, you have studied some of the old Amuin from, some, from the other previous temple, and you were able to figure out at least this one letter what? must correspond with an E. Uh, would my uh like oh my God, seeing it as if like text. I probably okay, I'll, I'll I probably have game. studied <laughs> seeing as like I probably would have studied this um like after we get we got the plate uh could my history of proficiency help here? I'm trying to figure out what kinds of things it might relate to. Yeah, like Let's maybe see. if we heard something about Uptown and stories or whatever. You 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 start going through a train of thought. Words that start with S. Story? No, can't be stories. Hmm. Demand your service, maybe, or. Yeah, with civility, trust, service would fit that. The subsequent sentencing, sensual, selection, selective, sentiment, severance, uh, secretion, will, semantics. And will lean, uh, sort of lean towards the snake and just go, well, uh, if it's if it's secrets you want, I really don't think I'm a very good musician. Saying that's over to it, Fenville. You see the uh, snake try to force its way into your mouth. I'll let it. Right. You, you be you see Fenville beginning to convulse on the ground next to you, Saga. 
and Turns they're like more was the answer <laughs> oh the God. body involuntarily slides up like a snake <laughs> i will tell as, them as they juicy. as they were whispering that though saga you heard it booming out all around next to you <laughs> that venville does not believe that they are a good musician <laughs> Unlucky, dude. <laughs> uh, Tell us your deepest insecurity. <laughs> I'm thinking what would Saga's secret be. Um, ah, but Saga, you notice you're already only one on this floor now. Like, no snakes? No, as in, there's nobody to hear. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it wouldn't let me out? No, like you, if you if you spoke a secret, nobody would hear it. So unless uh, you don't say it, unless you you yourself say it out loud for us to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will uh, speak a secret, something mm -hmm. about the party. Oh, Daga reveals no a deep, dark, it. mysterious secret they have about the party. <laughs> there is none to hear. The silence remains with the snakes. As they enter your mouth as well, you allow them to. And you slit her up as well. Reaching the top chamber, here's what you see. Um, uh... You, you got a head start on them, Tyka, so you're up there with Buckbeak, looking around to see uh, what okay. there is. And you do not see... Um, uh... You do not, in fact, actually see Buckbeak with you. In front of you, inside of this chamber, is not but um, uh, skeletons littering around the ground everywhere. Hmm. You look around to see if uh, behind you is Saga or, or um, uh, Benville, but you don't see either of them either. Okay. And. But Saga and Fenville, you see something much different. The two of you having reached the top over here, here's what you encounter. Hanging lamps illuminate the chamber in front of you, while incense burners fill it with exotic scents and curling smoke. Cushions and reed mats cover the floor, pots of blooming flowers line the plastered walls, and singing birds flit from plant to plant. An immense snake with iridescent scales rests on a heap of cushions opposite the door, and it rises slowly to a height of 10, 15, 20, 30 feet, staring directly into your eyes as it moves. Its face somewhat human-like. Its tongue flicks before it speaks. I am Sajin Abaza. What do you seek in this ancient place? Speak truly, for I hear your hearts. Uh -huh. That's where we can end the session off on. We're just chilling down here. <laughs> yeah. Huge dubs. I was alone yeah. without Buckbeak, now I'm worried about Buckbeak. Well, maybe Dude, you should you have... Guys, you guys skipped the, skipped the floor and... <laughs> no, no, Buckbeak has his own emotional trial to overcome. That Buckbeak's gonna awesome. come out, like, just, like, shaking, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Buckbeak. Okay, Damn. that was really yeah. fun. <laughs>